Welcome to the Atlaran Adventuring Company. This is the world of Atlaran. Beyond the Forgotten Realms, and perhaps not far from Exandria, Atlaran and her two moon sky have seen leviathans, dissolutions, divine gates, and calamities. And that's only the last 5,000 years. Perhaps most distinct for her scars, Atlaran is host to a number of sacred or cursed sites, depending on whether you ask Bahamut or Asmodeus. Or, perhaps you'll ask the old Balin gods, whom the world herself and her moons and star are named after. These places, like Mount Gear, the Monomarig Meteor, Drosdana, the Dawn Deep Trench, the Shattered Continent, the Greenhall Sea, the entirety of Garrett Eldathos, they all play parts in the world's fate. But it's the people that truly shape it. And every so often, little windows of time, short glimpses into exceptional people's lives, are plucked from the midst of the chaotic centuries and we call them stories. They're not always epics of heroism and bravery. Quite the contrary. Every hero was once a bumbling fool, or a selfish mercenary looking to make a platinum. Or, in most cases, both. And that brings us to our particular window in time. Following in the footsteps of a scorned bard and her unlikely lone wolf companion. Or, perhaps Lone Coyote is more apt. Sylvia Phelan, a half-elven bard unexpectedly turned knight of a fickle sea titan. Once a street urchin, Sylphie knows the meaning of hunger and struggle. With that, she also knows the meaning of flirtation and deceit. After all, pickpocketing is so much easier when they're distracted by a pretty face. Sylphie was born in Morsres Harris, the chosen den of the pirates, assassins, slavers, and traffickers known as the Arbiters. Adopted in later childhood by Wedna and Alistair Altera, Sylphie and her older sister Marin thought that life would be better with parents. But instead, they and their adopted brothers were taken into the family business of shady contracts and heists. And one day, rebellion from Marin left her dead, and Sylphie all alone. She fled the island and evaded notice from her family for a decade, but now she's on their trail for revenge. She's already struck her brothers Redner and Flynn off the list. And now with the might of the primordial sea goddess tell Dunno set her back, her sights have turned to the rest. Kit. Just Kit. A shifter, or elusir, of the coyote totem and mildly devout cleric of Savros, the Balin god of mischief and wanderers. Originally hailing from Amnobolin as part of a group of natives called the Manamar and Dalmaric, Kit's people have always been harassed by the Skull, or outsiders, who seek to take their ancestral lands and waters. Kit's particular tribe was attacked when he was young, rendering himself and his brother Ren orphans, and forcing their tribe to flee their home continent altogether. They found refuge in Irakel, but struggled to adjust to the change from subarctic to equatorial desert. Trusting in the sacred Mount Gear, heart of the world, to watch over them, Kit's people settled in the northern savannas. But Kit never settled. Aimlessly causing trouble to Skull and taking mercenary contracts to send money home since he was 15, Kit has become a person of interest to the Guild of Wardens, enforcers who help keep the common laws. Thanks to Dana Fioris, a former troublemaking comrade who eventually went straight and became a warden herself, Kit has quite the dossier with the wardens and rarely struggles to find work at their guild. And now, alongside Sylphie, Kit has his own scores to settle with the Arbiters, though breaking apart an organization of kidnappers and slavers would be reason enough to destroy them. And welcome, everybody. We're back! We're back! Yeah. Hello, everybody, yeah. and welcome to this highly stressful evening. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be okay. Yeah. I think so. Like I've said many times, I will murder my internet provider once I'm done. Uh, but anyway, welcome, everybody, to the Atlaran Adventuring Company. Uh, I am your DM, Taylor Wallace, and joining me, I have Alicia Kelly. Hi. And I have Blake Wolf. Well, hi! Oh god. Well, we may not have Blake Wolf much longer. Um, Why? 
<laughs> you're fired. <laughs> you're um, fired. <laughs> you're fired. I won't pay you anymore. Somebody else is going to have to run the stream now. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, excuse any internet jitters. Uh, I am working off a phone hotspot, so mm. we should be okay. You switched but... to a phone hotspot? Yes. That's what they Sweet. just said in the, yeah. Isn't it oh, sad that it's I'm better? not reading the chat. I'm a terrible person. Oh. I was Isn't playing with my it's... pigeon flute. Um, <laughs> that it's better than my cable internet connection? Yeah. That is a little sad, yeah. Actually, do you yes. like it? Because I'm considering doing that with mine. I do like it when it works. Oh, okay. Well, what you mean moving to hotspot or yeah, well, just for like some stuff. Cause I like to like go write my books out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. So... Oh yeah. Phone, phone hotspot. As long as you have a little, like two bars, you you're fine. Mm. But this stream of the Atlarn adventuring company brought to you by wireless providers who all suck. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Because if they yeah. don't have data caps, they have service problems. Yep. Yay! Anyway, Yay. Or both. Okay. So, uh, anywho. Guess who's got fourth uh, level spells? <laughs> we've been off for a couple weeks. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. So, yeah. I had yeah. to review everything. And uh, let's just uh, oh, jump right in. I have we? no idea what's going on. I just know I leveled up. Well, it's a good thing I do the reviewing for all of us. Man, Bath, Matt. That's where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we bath, were, Man we're bath, coming, Matt. We're coming off of a very chaotic episode. We really are. We're Not only have we had a couple weeks break, we came off an episode that made no sense. Oh, it was so ridiculous. <laughs> so it's like, Man Bear Pig? What? Man yeah. Bath, Man Bath, Matt. Bath, Matt? Okay. So last uh, episode, It was a new lovingly... kink we were talking about. Man Bath, huh? Matt. <laughs> it's a new kink. I'm introducing it. Man Bath, Matt. You get out and you like step on somebody to like dry off. <laughs> oh God, that sounds terrible. That sounds like something that exists. It probably yeah, already it does. does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do 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 do. All right. So, in the last episode, lovingly named Piak Tiak Tix. Piak um, Tiak Tix. Let's not get into that again. <laughs> I that haven't was... said that in two weeks. <laughs> wow. I I skipped. No! No! Oh no! We're doing so good. God damn it! We were doing so good. Oh, go to technical difficulties. Ah. Okay, I think we're working again. This is this is gonna happen several times. I already know it. This episode is titled "Technical Difficulties." Technical <laughs> difficult. Technically difficult. Technically. Yeah. Um, okay, it's working. Let's hope that holds. Anyway, last time, uh, you guys had finally arrived at Ambro Island on board the decidedly ruined Horizon Runner, uh, short a captain. And uh, you were welcomed by some local Tritons, half Tritons, and uh, just local folks who swam out to meet you. You were in particularly uh, in particular in particular uh greeted by a druid by the name of mari a half triton woman oh yeah and uh, let's see you guys got healed up a little bit before you headed into town to meet with the elder druid of greensmarch island I, uh, uh, I did make a note of the fact that you two were being dumb and uh, Kit pushed Sylphie off the boat. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, normal you know. stuff. <laughs> As um, we do. That's how you found your clownfish. Yeah. Maz. Maz Gadridal, or whatever his name is. That Maz sounds Kanata. like That sounds like medicine. Yes, it does. <laughs> Ask your doctor if Mads Gadridol is good for you. <laughs> Guaranteed to help. May cause death. May cause death. <laughs> um, but you got into the town itself and were introduced to the elder druid, uh, Annika Macambro. Oh, yeah. The great granddaughter of Kenna Macambro. Dead bitch. And we had a whole section about how you guys didn't hear names correctly. Uh, 
Oh, McKenna McAmaro. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I thought her name was. Wait, I forgot. No, you thought it was Kenna I Mac. Was... Oh, Kenna oh, Mac. Yeah, yeah Kenna, Kenna Mac, Mac McAmaro. Because you would say it like Kenna McAmaro. <laughs> yeah, the way you say so a Scottish like, name. Yeah, but um, like also the thing is called Ambro, and so I was like, oh, Ambro. Oh, okay. I see. That makes sense to me. Continue. Yeah. Makes no sense. Um, (laughs) Okay. You guys just go fuck myself. (laughs) You guys guys also met uh, Corvo, one of the uh, councilmen who lives in the village. I can't believe Uh, he's not a Kenku with a name like Corvo. Corvo the Kenku. Corvo the Kenku. Corvo, I pulled from Kenku. Um. But uh, he informs you, after learning that you are of Tuldanost, that he was waiting for Jax. That guy. Yeah, I remember that now. Jax. Jax. He told you a little bit about what he knows about Tuldanost, which is basically a lot of what you already knew, including the fact that she doesn't really speak a language you'd understand. Um, but also that the clownfish that you keep running into is Mazagaldanir, um, oh, yeah, Maz. Yeah, yeah. He is some kind of demigod that is older than the world itself. He is her messenger. He's actually a dragon, so. Dragon. Dragon. Um, you spoke to Annika about the fact that you know Kenna is alive. And she told you that, yeah, the world is about to know that she's alive because some shit went down in Haven. Um, why did I write this down? I, it wasn't even anything we laughed at. It was just a stupid thing Ben said that I was talking about what was available at dinner and I said chicken and you said chimkin. Oh, a chimkin. And I didn't react to it at the time, but when I heard it, I got into a laughing fit. Um, <laughs> that, that sounds about right. You guys, uh, you also delivered the crate uh, with the pseudo dragon egg, and it hatched in the fire. Uh, yep. Um, he he, cute boy. Um, and you also traded for passage to Anak Island by giving Annika a flame tongue dagger. Uh, being that your ship is fucked. Uh, Oh, here we are. Uh, you were going to stay the night. Um, you did decide to gather up your party and, uh, you know, just wander outside the bon- bounds of the village when the Elder Druid told you not to because you wanted to see Mothman. Yeah. And, uh, Je- uh, uh, what's your Car- kit? Um, <laughs> wow. Um, kit almost got his butt eaten by uh, dire wolves. Oh yeah, um, I'm extra crunchy now. Yeah, and uh, Man Bath Matt came and uh, Man Bath Matt saved you. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say saved, but yes, you guys encountered the local living legend, a Mothman esque creature with uh, some bat features and sort of like a gradient of black to gray uh, coloring. Uh. Yeah. Found out he's kind of curious and can't talk and he's actually kind of sweet. Um, Clay is a little bit skeeved out by him, but he actually likes this place quite a bit. So when we open, uh, it is the 15th of Kervagar. You guys are waking up in the morning early to be transported via plants to Anak Island. Plants? Along with uh, we're gonna clay, go through tree. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do that cool like Vilia teleportation. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Um, I, <clears throat> I Elith originated that shit. Thank mm-hmm. you. Oh, I'm sure. I believe it. Um, transport via plants was all her. <laughs> no event or activity. So I'm since we just leveled up and it, um, I am curious uh, i want to ask like a dm D D question about yeah. the divination spell mm-hmm. so it says uh you 
can ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. Yes. And the GM offers a truthful reply. So I... What if we ask about a goal, but we're not necessarily going to accomplish it within seven days? What if it's something we're just like always actively looking for? Like, um, then I can tell you about things that might occur to do with that long-standing goal. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's probably about it. Okay, I was just curious because it's kind of it's just sort of vague, so I wanted to make sure. Okay, thank you. That's all I needed. All right. What, cl- uh, fucking clairvoyance? No. No. Uh, Divination. Div- oh. Oh, no. Uh, what What level is clairvoyance? Is that, like... Oh. I think that's a lower level. Yeah, clairvoyance is this. third level. I don't have fourth level spells yet. Oh, uh, I just got because, one. Yeah, well, I don't have any yet because oh, I'm... Oh, there you are, only... Taylor. Yes. Okay. Because I'm only four and three in my levels, but they add up. To oh, seven. gotcha. Nice. But... Anyway. All right. Well. Uh, <clears throat> before we go, I'd like to talk to Kit um, in the morning before we leave. Okay. Um, hey, so before Hi. we go, did you prepare a message? For or whatever it is sending uh, for today. Was I supposed to? No, I was just asking. Uh, I did not for today. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but I can do it tomorrow. Just remind me. Cool, I'll remind Before you Before we go to bed. Cool. <laughs> I'll remind you tomorrow. It's been I, a while since we played this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to see if maybe you'd take take up the offer of uh, contacting Marin. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, we can so, definitely do that. Cool. Great. Great. That chicken was great, wasn't it? That chimkin was delicious. Was delicious. For, for a bunch of hoodlums out in the jungle. Yeah. It's not, pretty good. Not bad chimkin. It's pretty good. Those wolves, however... <laughs> Their bite is definitely worse than their bark. God, I fucking thought that was like a fever dream that I had or something. No. But apparently it's not. We we actually... I, I actually ran into the center of a pack of wolves and they all attacked me at once. And they all... We fought side by side with Bat Mothman. Yeah, Man Bath Matt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Can't believe it. I, I don't... He's so weird. Are you, like, okay after he was, like, weirdly, like, giving you a massage or, like, chewing on your fingers or whatever? He wasn't doing any of that. I don't know he what was, he was doing. It was just I, odd and sensual and strange. No, he didn't, like, know what customs. Like, I tried to shake his hand, but he was, like, moving my arm up and down in weird ways because he didn't know what I was doing. So. Oh. He's fine. He's not, like. I mean. Yeah, he sleeps just, upside down in a bell tower, I guess. He's like a little he's like a little baby. Like yeah. he doesn't know what he's doing. He's fine. Coffee here is pretty good too. Oh. Well that's good. Mm-hmm. It's mushroom coffee. Oh, mushroom. it's delicious. Not enough caffeine, but it's delicious. Yeah, I don't think there'd be any caffeine. No. In that. <laughs> um No, there is. There is. So are we about to are we gonna Skidoo. We're gonna step through a plant. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Wish we could do that all the time, right? Yeah. Are we just question? What? Um, are we planning on like getting into any serious trouble today? Because I learned some new tricks and I'm really itching to try one. Oh god. Uh, I mean, how much trouble do you think bringing a magic bucket to uh? Uh, island is going to bring us. I mean, it can't possibly be like world changing or anything <laughs> like that. No, of course not. No, it's just water. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, how much damage could we do with a bucket of never-ending water? That's... I would like to do an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to insight check God for the plot. Yeah. Like to in... <laughs> Will this destroy the world? No, I want to insight check Kit because I don't know what he's fucking up to. Okay. What he wants to do, do I have to do deception? Um, I don't think you're, you're... not lying. I'm just like, I would say, what let's do is, that. are you on about? No, just an inside check. I don't feel okay. like it's necessarily deception. Oh boy, that was an at one. Yeah, I am so nothing. fucking truthful. I'm just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah nothing, of course. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Nothing could ever go wrong. It's not like we could drown the world with a bucket. Yeah, no, like slowly wait. over centuries. Wait, could we? We've already discussed this. No, I know. This oh, okay. is still oh, okay. character. <laughs> I mean, we... No, I don't think we could, no. Do you think we could? But say we could. <laughs> but should we? No. Why? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We'll be, bad people. We'll be dead long before we ever even notice that is true but then why even do it right like i mean half the satisfaction like seeing it come to i mean fruition? but what about like posterity right we could go down in history books as the people who drown the world i mean wouldn't that make us like suck no, I mean, what, be like, I mean it's not like we're causing the calamity i mean really we're just covering up the mess I mean, okay, but like the calamity that we're kind of doing calamity part two, if we do that. I mean, we're like doing the waterboarding version of the calamity. You'd say that as though it it's better, but I don't think if you it's add just... waterboarding into something, it makes it better. <laughs> I mean, it's just slow and eventually everybody drowns. No, okay, well, hold on. It's just like a little teeny bucket. It's not yeah. gonna. No, it like... can't. It's not going to. It can't. I mean, no, no, no way. No. No. You know what we could do with it though. What? So it does make almost any liquid. Oh God, are you thinking about like no, pee or no, something? No, I. So I had a oh. thought over the. I had a weird dream. After we're done with this, do you want to go get the bucket again and start a business? Of what? Do you think it'll make holy water? Now, let... Hold on. Okay. Now, fi now, okay, so just hear me out. Like, holy water is expensive, right? But, like, yes. if it makes five gallons of holy water at a time and we bottle it up into tiny bottles and charge five gold apiece, like, we could really... What like, if, what if... Or we could do the, blood, like find some weird vampires or something. Honestly, honestly, we could, in theory, have the bucket constantly pouring out the water because it constantly, like, makes regular water, right? Yeah, yeah. In theory, we could have someone just blessing it constantly coming out. Yeah, but then we have to, like, pay someone for their time. What if we just... Have it make That's five true. gallons of holy water. It'll take us a month to sell all that, like at least. That's true. And Why then, don't we, okay, hold on. Why don't we do that like before we drop it off at Enig? Where are we going to store five gallons of holy water? You have your bag of holding or whatever. Yeah, but I don't want to fill it with holy water. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to fill it with? I mean, what's holy water good for? Like vampires and... Do what about like do undead Stuff? creatures count? I think Probably. we lost Taylor, but um oh there they are. No, they're still they're okay. slow. But yeah. What is holy um, water good for? Yeah, God. God, tell us what holy water is I'm good for. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And how much is it worth? I want to know that too. <laughs> I'll roll for that if need be. Uh, as an action. You can splash the contents of a flask or bottle of holy water uh, or throw it up to 20 feet. In either case, range attack, blah, blah, blah. If this target is fiend or undead, it takes 2d6 radiant damage. 
I mean, my vials I'm in of- the business of fiend and undead. That's what my turn. That's what my uh, detect good and evil detects. My vials do that much damage, and they're fucking expensive. Yeah. Look. Okay. So listen. If we find like little glass bottles or something, we can just bottle them up really quick. I have to order them in like, bulk. And then, yeah, and like five gallons, that's going to make a lot of shit. That's true. And uh, once we do that, we can flip the the bucket over, leave it there. And then if we run out, you know, then we can just pop back over to Enik again, temporarily unflip the bucket, make more holy water, and then flip it back over again. Do you think it would make alcohol? Yeah. Doesn't it? It, it makes beer or something, right? What if we mm-hmm. had it make like high grade scotch or something? Or fire whiskey? Hmm. Is that more we could start or less a bar. expensive? We could. We could start a whole bar. Maybe. So like, maybe we can I leave the bucket I think that would run out a, a lot faster than, uh, than holy water, though. Well, yeah, but like five gallons a day of whiskey, like. Okay, but, like, we have to leave that bucket there. Forever? Yes. I told her that I was going... Well, hmm, hold on. I did I did. You said say ten times. Ten times. We could just leave would've. the tap running for 24 hours, and then that would be enough. You know, you're right. And then we could take the bucket. You're right. I feel like this is a really good way to, after we get done with this... To set us up for the rest of our lives. Well, I mean, we'll see how this all goes. Like, who knows? We could fucking die. Um, That's not incorrect. Yeah. Uh, And I, I don't know. Not to, you're awesome, Kit, and we've, we've gone over this, like, we're, we're in the business together here, but Mm. like. I also don't know how stuff is going to change when Marin gets in the picture. You know what I mean? True. So, may, you know what? I'll try my best to convince her to become a small business owner. And we'll have a, a three-way very, partnership. A very lucrative small business owner. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could uh, even just like... Even just with the water, we could like set up a thing and just sell barrels of water to passing ships. That's true. And we that, could. and we'd never run out of that. That's true. We're kind of dicks, <gasps> but we're smart. What if we had a boat in the middle of the ocean and it was a place you could stop and refill your water? <laughs> oh God! All right, we're we're bouncing a lot of ideas out there. Yeah. They're all great. They're wonderful. We should but, get more uh, of these buckets. I They probably have more. I don't know. <laughs> Where did we even get this one? Uh, you, you would got remember. It. Oh, that's right. I, I got Super it. Super cheap. Uh-huh. Yeah. Off some junk magic item dealer. Yeah. We bought the world-breaking bucket. <laughs> the fucking bucket. <laughs> Don't you love it when you just make up an oddball magic item and then we figure out how to fucking destroy the entire world with it? (laughs) I thought I was being smart by saying, oh, only five gallons of like a non-water liquid. Nope. And I was like, it's okay because lava is not liquid. So, hey, that'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Like it has to be something that is liquid at room temperature. Um, Uh, Yeah. Oh God! No! Oh, I just I had an idea. Oh, what did no. I do? Do you think it would pour out mercury? Fuck! I don't know what the the room temperature of mercury. Quicksilver is, is quicksilver is liquid at room, room temperature. temperature. Oh, okay. Okay. What are we gonna do with the shit ton of mercury? <laughs> die. Mostly. I don't know. Mostly yeah. die. Um, <laughs> would it do acid? Probably. We need to find some vials. Next or place we stop. the acid could destroy the bucket. No, we'll just pour no, it. No, it comes item. out of the bucket. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but we could we could definitely get some more vials of that. Um, 
Do you know if they sell glass vials on this island? I don't think they sell much on this island. That's probably true. They're, yeah. They're okay, just well, jungle people. <clears throat> we can. Um... It's not a jungle. <laughs> well, I don't know. It just feels like a jungle. <laughs> it's a fucking coniferous forest. Oh. It's a pine jungle. Yeah. They're woods people. It's old growth. <laughs> it's an old growth jungle. Um, they're, they're wood people. They're in the woods. They're woods thems. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Well, now that we've got some ideas, like maybe we should go bamf through a tree or whatever. Probably, yeah. yes. Okay. Break. Bull, get your stuff. Yeah. We're Bull. going. Okay. Same with you, Clay. All right. Mia. Mia. Yep. Just do all the fucking voices. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dance, yeah, monkey. Yeah, yeah, Dance, yeah. monkey. Dance, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I can do it. Try me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little aggressive today. That's fine. Uh, uh, That's um, uh, 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 um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up, Benjamin. After what you did last time. Piak tiak tiak. Piak tiak tiak. Start. Start. No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yes, yeah, so you guys all gather up your stuff and uh, go into the main chamber of the temple. Um. Where? How early did you guys get up? We were up I mean, late, so probably yeah. Not that we were early. out a while, so. Enough to get a long rest, but well, duh. How late do you want to get? Wow. <laughs> Jesus, we get up at 9 33 a.m. on the fucking dot. I just wanted to know, like, how late in the morning? 9 33 a.m. 9 33 a.m. on the dot. 26 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, then it's not on the dot. Oh. We wake up sometime. <laughs> okay. You guys wake up after sunrise. Yes. Um, and uh, you make your way into the main chamber of the temple where everybody else has been up for quite a while. Well, um, that's the reason I was asking. Uh oh, Jesus. Um, but uh, you do see Annika in her usual place sitting at that uh, large, again, not really a throne, just a big old chair. Not a lot of decoration um, at the head of the hall. Uh, and you do see a number of her council in there, including Corvo. Um, and they're just sort of quietly discussing. And the uh, discussion quiets down as you all enter. Um, you can you can smell breakfast. Uh, it's still available uh, if you want to grab something for the road. Uh, most of the council members are staring at your group because they've all been alerted as to the uh, new strangers on the island. Oh, hi. I just kind of give a little, like, as I go by. Yeah. Um, Annika uh, pushes herself up sort of forward in her chair, and you can see that the, um, the arm that had the blackened fingers and all the sort of scarification is once again sort of hidden within her robes. <laughs> And uh, you see also partially hidden inside her robes is that little baby pseudo dragon who's currently asleep mm. against her. Um, she sits forward and looks over all of you as you approach. She says, good morning. I uh, hope you slept well, late as it was. Like a baby. Like the dead. Did you enjoy uh, harassing our uh, local guardian? Uh, we hey, we were like pals. We like. We just wanted chilled. to say hi. Yeah, we just chilled and we helped him yep. with some local wolf issues. Definitely. <laughs> we yeah. helped. We made a friend. Sure. Yeah. Yes. No. Um, is there anything else you'll be needing for the road? 
Uh, I can get you as far as Western Enoch, uh, not all the way to the point that you need to go to. Um, should take you, if you stick to the coast, maybe three days to make your way to the uh, point. Okay. Okay. Maybe um, we can handle that. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to have any, like... <clears throat> and then from there... What? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say, do you happen to have any um, bulk... Uh, glass vials by any chance either to be uh, purchased or gifted uh, whichever one. <laughs> um we do have a glass floor on the island oh okay is yeah. that like so that's like artisan so that's gonna be like not necessarily pricey. uh equal parts uh equal parts decorative equal parts uh utility god damn it they have a tropical etsy <laughs> people need gla glaciers it's just what are a, you... a joke um it's the medieval times they need glaciers it's steampunk uh not here it's not that's true here it's medieval mm. times <laughs> it's dark uh, ages here maybe we should just say hi to them before we go like uh I suggest you get what shopping you need done, and I'll meet you in the center of town, near the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! The, this, uh, oh. The uh, center what, of town near... At what time? I'm sorry, uh, near one of the large trees. Oh, okay. All right. At what time? When? Whenever the mood strikes you. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Perfect. <clears throat> cool. Peace out. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go find this glass person. This glass person. Yeah. This glossier. Glossier. <laughs> like a sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> no. We go to the glazier. <laughs> oh, that was adorable. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I choked on water, and so <laughs> the little ear bubble. That's going to be on the internet forever. Great. It is. Awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys make your way uh, with uh, Annika's directions. It's not hard to find. It's a gigantic furnace with a small building next to it. Um, make your way over, and um, the front of it is pretty open because you can't have all that heat build up inside. Um, and uh, walking up to the front sort of the entire building is made of stone for obvious reasons and uh, you can see immediately through the sort of uh, front window um, several people working all together to create just pretty much mass produce uh, glass object yeah Glass yes. objects. Glass objects. Cool. Wow. Look at all these glass objects. God, there's so many glass objects here. Do you like that glass object? I I mean, it's kind of, I don't know how I feel about the color. It's kinda yeah, I nice. agree. I like that glass object better. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got cut off. Um, I know. Glass I know. objects. <laughs> they, they're currently working on some window panes. Um, <gasps> but you do see that they have. Oh my God, we ended up at Tiffany's. What? It's a regular Tiffany's. Here we are. Understand. Like a Tiffany lamp. Tiffany's <laughs> makes glass stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, I know them for diamonds. Um, they also do glass things. All right. I, well, I think they're like crystal, aren't they? I have no idea. I don't remember. I think they're crystal. That's why they're so expensive. Because it's not glass. So what other glass anyway. objects do they have? <laughs> I was just waiting for you to be done. I love um, that glass object. These it's glass so objects sure are sure something. Sure is glass. You guys do see <laughs> That's the name number... of the store. Sure is glass. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> uh, sorry, go ahead. 
it's like herding cats. It really it's is. Two of you. Uh, there's um, a lot of cats. Yeah, there are uh, racks and shelves of glass bottles and vials. Um, all kinds of glass-like objects. Um, there are some artisan things, but a lot of it is pretty utilitarian. Um, there is a younger um, halfling uh, at the counter. You, you can tell she's standing on something to be up that high. But she's just kind of leaning on the counter, uh, looking down at a teeny tiny set of little like glass fish that have all been uh, put onto this like plate. So they're all very carefully attached to it with like little glass beads. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's been it's been colored uh, with uh, whatever they use to color glass. And uh, (laughs) I don't know enough. I know enough about glass blowing to know like how they like make the shapes and stuff but i don't know how they do the color i assume it's similar to pottery uh um, with glass yes they have colored rods that they like stick color to it and then they like mix it so that it all becomes even or whatever okay yeah close enough yeah um but yeah uh just like a little a little decorative piece that she's looking at and kind of spinning it around on the wooden counter uh stone counter and uh as you guys step up she glances up and you see a little bit of the like triton features to her and you've gotten the idea that everybody here is like at least a little bit triton um and uh she glances up looks over all of you and she's like "Ooh, hello Hi. Hi. <laughs> Don't see new faces around here very often. How can I help you? So I'm kind of looking for some glass vials. And she motions literally just behind her to a giant shelf. How many do you have? And she glances back and she says, uh, probably let's call it 200. Oh, oh. how much are they a piece? Ah, well, it depends. Do you want them to be pretty or just useful? Just useful. useful. Um, she gl- she motions toward the top shelf. Um, and we need stoppers for them too. No problem. Okay. Um, she motions toward the uh, top shelf, which is all the like prettier looking ones that like you can put like keepsakes in. She says they range from about. Uh, two silver each for the really fancy ones. And then she motions to the bottom where you can see that uh, almost out of sight of the counter, there's like shelves of like kind of warped looking ones that weren't mm-hmm. quite made right. She's like, and then there's the sort of, they work, they're, they're watertight, but they're not pretty, the sort of trash ones and a copper each. Oh, how many of those do you have? Uh, too many. Huh. Uh, we'll do you d- no wait hold oh. pause don't okay never mind uh, if, you buy, if you buy a bunch of them all at once I'll give you a discount oh good to know we'll uh, take them do you have Jesus <laughs> do you have uh, something yeah. that holds something that's something that's not going to melt that would hold about five gallons uh like a glass jug. Yeah, like a really big glass jug. We make gallon jugs. You could divide it across five of those. It's going to come out kind of fast. Um... <laughs> we have funnels as well. Ooh, funnels. Uh... Um, hold, hold on. And she okay. Okay. Uh, sticks her head back into the shop. And you hear her just start yelling in halfling. Um, and the bunch of guys who are working together uh, all stop and look at her for a moment, kind of furrow their brows. You see one of them nod, and she comes back to you. She says, we can make you something that big pretty fast. Like how fast? Like as fast as it takes to blow up a five-gallon jug and let it cool. I don't know how how long that takes. (laughs) I don't know how long glass takes to cool. Yeah, Google. Um... So, uh, uh, 
how to do it without shattering. Yeah, it shouldn't take too terribly long. No, not terribly. Um, it's the center away from the surface. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god this is god gonna damn be it i don't care about the the rate of <laughs> so transference of heat while Shut she's up, you nerds while she's doing that i'm going to pull sylvia aside i'm gonna be like <laughs> okay so we yeah. need to decide what we want to make so in uh... general in general holy water requires an entire flask and it's about 25 gold right from what i remember seeing in the shops um but uh, acid is about 25 gold per vial, so we could get a lot more money for a lot less stuff. It yeah. takes uh, most glass blowing projects about a night to cool off. Oh, that's going to take forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can't do that. To cool uh, fully to the point where it's safe to put something gotcha. in them. And then the, the third thing that we could possibly do is poison which is usually about a hundred gold for a vial from what I'm, what I'm remembering in the player's handbook here. Uh, so I was about to say, you remember a lot more prices of things than I do. Yeah. Well, you know, when you, when you are the only person making money for the tribe, you got to do it whatever way you can. Um, yes. So, and those are just vials. So we could, we could just make poison and then we could like use it ourselves or we could just do acid. We just need something that's not going to melt. But I feel like putting acid in a barrel is just asking for trouble. Yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, um, and then we don't have like a stone caldera to put it in. Well, um, mm -hmm. As you guys are talking, you do hear the sound of glass being placed on stone behind you. Mm -hmm. um, the girl has come out with several large gallon jugs would Just they for your perusal? Would they fit in my bag of holding? Um, yeah, you could get it open wide enough. Okay, all right. Sorry. Well, okay, then I'll just turn back to her. I'll be like, we'll figure it out. Uh, so how how much are the gallon jugs, and how much is the funnel? Uh, well. Uh oh. Wow. What a reasonable price. That's such a reasonable price. Two silver, you say? Wow. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. If you need... Uh... Okay. Oh, how much was it? What did you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> you I... talked really fast. Did you have a stroke? Catch it. Sorry. <sighs> I think that person had a stroke. I, like, turned to selfie and, like, did they have a stroke? Are they okay? Don't. Don't. Shut up, Ben. Don't talk <laughs> like don't ask if someone had a stroke while they're standing right um, there. But uh, she nice. says, "Well, for each of the jugs, we could probably let those go at ten gold a piece, since they're Oof. pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, as for a funnel, um, I can get you one and uh, something to carry it in, so it won't shatter. Because I don't think a metal funnel will be right for what." you want uh, um metal metal should actually be okay yeah are you sure they tend to rust i mean glass will last you longer does acid rust metal yes okay oh, then we'll go with it, glass. well it doesn't rust metal it eats metal oh glass yeah. is fine then we'll do glass yes yeah uh, she says i can i can get you that in something if you need something to carry it in so it doesn't shatter okay um and uh she disappears a little for a little while and then she comes back with a glass funnel um sort of a, a wide mouthed glass funnel but uh she brings it all up for you and uh putting it all together how many vials are you guys gonna get a hundred yeah Is it Kit? Are you? Is there a ghost? Anyway. Was that a ghost? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would like, I think I'm going to go with a hundred vials and then these five buckets and the glass funnel. All right. So 
Let's just call it an even 50 gold, since you're taking a bunch of trash off our hands. Do you want to split it, Sylphie, or do you want me to cover it? Uh, I, can, I can take care of it, it's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, if you insist. I mean, I'll just take all the profits until I'm paid back, and then we can start splitting it. Ah, uh, ooh, oh, mm, mm, okay. I mean, that okay. makes sense, How right? Much? Okay, hold on, how much is it? 50, 50. gold. 50 each or no 50 total oh no i'll give you 25 gold. Oh, okay 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 so we hand over 50 gold and then is mm-hmm. there like a just i i start like stuffing all these things in my bag of holding without breaking them um and just like, so is there like a good place that people don't go just in case we like spill some really caustic materials? Um, how do you place that people don't go? I mean, like, let's say if I was going to uh, just mean, for some weird reason conjure up five gallons of acid, where would be a good place to do that in case I spilled we're some? In, we're in like the woods. Yeah, but I don't want to kill just, like a sacred tree or something. Oh. They can't all be uh, sacred. Well, preferably, preferably do that near the water so that way <laughs> any iffy materials are dissipated. Oh, the beach. Good idea. Good idea. And also, nobody cares about the sand, necessarily. Yeah, we can just poison the water supply. Yeah, it? that's cool. Whatever. It's the ocean. Say goodbye to your clownfish. Well, I guess. Oh, no. Not yeah. mess. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you so much. This was a very wonderful transaction. Um, have it... Well, uh, mm. Are the so are the the openings on these gallon jugs are they small? Yes. Perfect. That's why she offered you a funnel. A funnel. That'll be fine. Uh, do you have like a stand, like a wooden stand that you can put these vials in, or like anything, like just the one that holds like five or six tubes or something? Nothing crazy. Uh, sure. And she goes, and you hear her digging around a little bit, and she comes out with a, a fairly sizable rack that'll probably hold about 10 of them perfect um says uh, i am nervous about what you outlanders are doing don't worry about it we're not we're starting a business it's fine fine. yeah with caustic materials Mm -hmm. well people have needs yeah there are people out there who work with shitty like literal shit yeah because they have to Mm-hmm. You know what? And we have to. Because people out there need acid. It's true. You'd probably be best selling that to like a wizard's college or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Or... We're we're gonna we're gonna travel. Well traveling me, acid dealers. Keep me in mind if you need uh <laughs> More vials, I suppose. Yeah, you could ask, um, who's, I'd like lean to selfie. I'm like, what's the name of the lady who runs the place here? Ken, Kendra, Kenna, no. Arkin? Uh, Annika, Annika? Annika? <laughs> Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> Ar- I'm not helping. Akin? Akin? Clay Akin? I'm not helping. Um. I- in. Annika. I think it's Annika. I like lean over across the counter. I'm like, could you, if I, what, what's your name? Uh, Not like we're going to remember it, but. No, I'm going to write it down. (laughs) Uh, Most of my friends call me Essie. Essie. Okay. So if you ever hear my voice inside your head, it's me getting a hold of you. And um, you could (laughs) maybe, if you. (laughs) If I didn't live with a bunch of druids, I'd be mildly creeped out by that. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> I come in peace. Um, Indeed. So, uh, if if we ever need more of this stuff, um, could you get in touch with like the leader and just like drop it off somewhere through a tree or whatever? 
I'm sure we could work that out if it was profitable for us. Okay. Perfect. Uh, what's the, what, what is her name again? It's slipping my, it's like Annika, Annika. Lady Annika. It is Annika. Thank you. Thank you. Lady Annika. See, I was right. I just wanted to make sure because we have to go. Just because you said one right option doesn't mean you were right. (laughs) I was right right. the seventh time. It's fine. Um, Well, perfect. Well, we will thank you so much for doing business with us. And uh, Mm -hmm. we will keep you in mind as our trusted vile dealer. Mm. Well, all right. If you ever decide to deal in potions or poisons, let me know. There's a market for that here. Oh, did you do you need poison? Because like I can make that too. How much can you make? Five gallons. How much do you want? <laughs> she she's like, uh, let me go see how many jugs. Cool, <gasps> you go do that. You go get those jugs. We'll have a, a conversation over here. Uh, Yeah, so how much are we selling this for? It's like a hundred gold for a vial. Maybe we should just let them yeah. make a deal, make an That's offer. Right. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, let's haggle this. Yeah, let's haggle. Yeah. Haggle. Haggle. Uh, haggle. <laughs> I just feel like um, Hag's the... got to do it. That's why yeah. my face looked like that, because I was like, hey. <laughs> so she went to get the jugs. Yes. Got to get those yeah. jugs. Got to get those jugs. Okay. Getting yeah. some jugs. Getting some jugs. Oh, are you get... are you haggling or are you waiting on me? <laughs> oh, I'm waiting well, for. Well, we have to hag. We have to wait until she comes back in order right. for us to haggle. Um. All right. Well, I thought you guys were gonna have a fucking plan for once, but anyway, no, no. we're just gonna be like, she, hmm. uh, yeah. Eventually, she comes back with five more similar sized uh, glass jugs and sort of lines them up with another funnel. She's like, I guess I could use all of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would you what would you be willing to uh, offer for it? Well, um, gosh, uh, she like puts all your money back on the counter. Um, she's like, we don't deal too much in money here. Um, and she sort of glances around. She says. What sort of things would you be interested in of a more magical nature? I mean, what do you have to offer? And then maybe we can see if we're possibly interested. Well, I have a lot to choose from. I just need to know where to start. Uh, well, you know, like, I personally well, for me, like magical staves um, or things that give me more, like make me harder to hit. I also have a request. Are you able to enchant things? Uh, I cannot get that done. It takes a while. How long? Like, depending on the severity of the enchantment, number of weeks, even up to Ah. years. Ah, no. Why? What are you interested in? I have a great sword that I wanted to put some magic shit into do you have maybe a great sword that's already got some magic, magic shit yeah <laughs> Pre- ma- pre-filled magic shit yeah pre-filled magic shit um she she thinks for a moment she says how do you two feel about um experimental things I'm highly interested. I'm semi-interested. Have you ever heard of a glass bomb? I'm assuming it is a bomb. Kids' eyes light up. That is made of glass. Yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, he, you're oh, no. not incorrect. It's, um... I'm not really allowed to make them here, but... Um, and she, like, leans over the counter. She's like, they're like a little glass orb full of gunpowder. 
and uh, you know, shredded metal, glass pieces, whatever you like, honestly. Powder, if you just want something pretty to look at. Um, oh my god, we're gonna start a gender reveal it's... fire in California. <laughs> <laughs> we need one in pink and one, one in, in blue. One in blue, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, she says, generally the, the light ones I'm allowed to use for like daytime fireworks. Um, but uh, the other ones, the stronger ones, I'm not really allowed to make. Um, but no one has to know. Uh, I mean, what just what kind of damage are we talking about? Is it like fire and flames or is it just shrapnel? Um, it's a combination. Um, a, a good sized one. And she like takes your your hands and like shows you like this sized ball can blow a <laughs> hole in the side of a ship. Oh, that is highly interesting. Um, uh, How I many make, of those? I could make you some big ones, some small ones. Um, I also, and she she like actually glances around and like she goes, and you see her reach under the counter at a weird angle. Um, she pulls out, uh, she says, since you mentioned a stave, um, she pulls out a long cedar sort of squared stick. Um, and sets it on the counter. She says, I have this. Um, this is sort of an experiment that I've been playing with for a while. And you do see that the entire staff is, it looks like it was struck by lightning. Um, there's all these like little, little lightning feelers going through the whole thing. She says, I'm working on learning a lot of the sciences, but also the magics that go with it. And this was one of the first things I ever enchanted correctly. And um, it's, I guess it's sort of a lightning staff. What is it? What does it do? Well, uh, once a day, you can literally strike someone with lightning with it. It, it functions, and she shows you <laughs> one end of it is actually sharp. She says, it's basically a lightning javelin. <laughs> you throw it, and obviously, ouch, javelin hurts, but then a line of lightning follows it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And even if you miss with the javelin, the lightning will still hit them. So how many of those bombs do you have ready? Uh, at the moment, I have two of the big ones, the ones that can blow a hole in a ship. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've got five of those smaller ones, and she shows you they're about that big. Um, How long does it take to make them? Uh, well, I have to get materials. Um, mm. They're super easy to make as long as you make sure the glass is cooled down before you put gunpowder in it. Um, mm. But it's very hard to get gunpowder out here. Okay. Let us, let's talk for a second real quick. Can we, Sophie? Can we? Yes. Okay. So we like go off to the side. We like, excuse us, just just Con one moment. Conference. Yeah. Um, I really want the bombs in the stick. I agree. I I want to know if she has like a big pre enchanted like you know one for me, one for you kind of thing, like a big yeah. sword or something like that. That. Okay. Well, let's ask about that. Yeah. But are we are okay. we cool with walking like away those. with just the bombs in the stick? Yes. Okay. If need yes. be. If need yes. be. Okay. All right. We're back. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's like leaning on the counter, like super interested in you guys. Um, and she says, Do you have big sword that also does lightning? I have never. Worked, I've never worked with swords. No. Um, I really like that. Uh, we don't really use them here, but um, have something that you might be interested in if you like your swords. Um, and she uh, disappears for a moment. She like tucks the staff back under the counter so nobody sees it. Hmm. Um, and she disappears for a moment and she eventually comes back with what looks like just a bracelet. Um, and she like has the like uh, a very carefully put together satchel as well that you can see probably all these bombs are inside it 
you know, because a lot of explosives in one place is a great idea. Um, Convenient. <laughs> but uh, she lays the, uh, the bracelet on the counter. She says, this is... That's cool. It's it's sort of like a, I don't know I didn't mean to make it but it turned out pretty good. Um, it sort of helps steady your aim. Um, whatever kind of weapon you're using, mechanically, um, this bracelet is essentially a plus one to damage and to attack rolls. <sighs> Silky so, really needs that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So okay, I. That's kind of cool. Well, do you listen? Yeah. Two enchanted items and a bunch of gunpowder is kind of a lot for a bunch of poison. But I'll tell you what: I'll make this deal with you, as long as you keep me in mind. Mm -hmm. And whenever you get a chance, like if you get to, uh, if you get to an interesting place like Constanos or some city like that, like. Let me know. You can you can message. Let me know, and um, if you can, like, give me a good idea of where you are, and uh, I might just have to run away from home and start my own business. Yeah, I like you, Essie. I like the way you think. I like the two of you as well. I think you got yourself a deal, and I stick out Indeed. my hand. And... She goes to reach for your hand. She says, "What are your names?" Silphy Phelon. Kit. Just Kit. He's been Lovely. doing that lately. And she shakes your hand. Uh, she puts everything on the counter for you. Now, um, if, uh, before we before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we should probably make sure that we can produce said poison. Um, do you have, like, uh, is there a funnel in each one of these jars? Um, she has one funnel. Okay. It can be moved across. So you're going to have to move quickly i will pour slowly but you have to move quickly okay sure all right i now well hold on kid yeah. now can't you do like you don't have to do it all at once yeah it, it doesn't have to be i don't one. have to flip like... it over i can just tip it slowly yeah no yeah. but like it doesn't have to it like you can just do one, one gallon stop two gallon stop yeah, you can oh i can Oh, yeah, perfect. it doesn't. Um, yeah, it's just it's, up it's to five gallons a day. It doesn't yeah. have to be uh, all at once. Okay. Yeah. So I will will get all the bottles lined up, and I will take out the enchanted bucket. Mm -hmm. I will turn away from Essie and whisper into the bucket. I'll be like, oh, "Poison." Do you have and a specific kind you're going for? The really bad kind. Cyanide. Uh, no, something. That... Actually, maybe it should be something that has a little more kick and no antidote. Yeah, like when like... you pour it, when you pour it, the smoke comes up and there's a little skull and crossbones. Yeah, that ki like the kind <laughs> that the evil stepmother made, yeah, the evil queen yeah. made in Snow White. Yeah, sleeping I mean, death can be. So not actually poison. No, I want actual poison. No, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I imagine when someone just says poison it's mm -hmm. like fucking uh tetrodotoxin because that's horrific okay um right, it's the I stuff trust that, you. that's i believe it's the stuff that's in fugu fish oh fugu. so it like fucks you up yeah charlie uh okay <laughs> you're the banana king you're the banana king okay um so <laughs> He's throwing it back to 2006, guys. <laughs> uh, that was YouTube. That was OG YouTube. Yeah, it was. Uh, so, all right. Are you ready, Essie? Do it. Okay. And I just start, like, pouring it, and then I start pouring, <laughs> pouring it out. Um, but, yeah. You fill up all these jugs, and Essie, like, the moment you're done, she, like, corks it and, like, hides it. Mm -hmm. um, and she just carefully stashes these jugs around the uh, shop in places where people won't look. And uh, as I, soon as... I lean over to Kit, like, after that, I'm like, I really hope she's not going to do anything, like, horrible with that. It isn't our responsibility what people do with their tools. I understand, but, like... We're kind of enabling. I was like, waiting until one of you thought of the potential <laughs> repercussions. Ben doesn't care. Ben's an asshole. I mean, I guess like she could kill like everybody on this island with that. 
With that I mean, much poison? Yes. I mean... I guess we should check in worldwide consequences. <laughs> Just wait till okay, we put okay. that bucket down. Okay, listen. Like tomorrow, mm-hmm. talk to Annika again. Just to make sure that she's alive still. <laughs> hey, thanks for the tr- ride. Are you still alive? Are you guys alive? Were there any like mysterious deaths overnight? <laughs> Did anybody love you? Did anybody like get sick or like did die? anybody keel over dead with their <laughs> nervous system not working? Yeah. Did anyone suffer a terrible violent fate? Um <laughs> what? so I'm going to very, very gently put all the she gave us all the bombs. Oh, we got the little ones and the big ones. Um mm-hmm. So I'm going to very, very gently put them in my bag of holding, my leg bag of holding. Yeah. She does let you know that they're, I mean, uh, they're fairly hardy. Like, yeah, the shell is made of glass. Um, but as long as you keep them away from an open flame, you should be okay. The worst they can do is shatter. Uh, okay. I'm going to put the bracelet on. <clears throat> now, is that You bracelet... are suddenly slightly better at aiming. Hey, uh, does that also count for spells or is it just weapons? Um, Ooh. Because I do have some spells that have a hit mod. It is for physical uh, attacks. Yeah. So okay. melee and uh, ranged, but okay. not magic. Okay. And I will... um, you do have to attune to it, just BS. Oh, you got an do hour. That now. It takes an hour. You can do it while we're walking. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie's just like, hmm. I'm just like, for the next hour. Like prayer beads, just like one at yeah. a time. Yeah. Hail Mary, full of grace. Full of grace. Like, Hallowed oh, be thy name. Mom. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no bread. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Though thy sourdough is quite sour it is it is still edible it is still bread it is still bread oh so and then i'll <laughs> i'll take the the Hail bloody the, mary full of vodka <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then i'll take the stick and it'd be like se so just quick question like do i yeah. have to throw it or can i just like thwack people with it uh you'll want to throw it even if it's a short distance, but trust me, you don't want to be holding it when it goes off. Ah. Alrighty. Uh, and it, it, I mean, it works more than once, obviously, I'm assuming. It works once a day. Um, oh. You can still throw it again. It just won't Ooh. strike someone twice in a day. DM now, question. Mm-hmm. Is it possible for me to, like, say, strap the javelin stick across my back so I can use it like whenever I want to and still have my staff handy or do I have to like uh, equip being, and unequip being that uh, it's okay so some DMs will say no you have to you have to equip and unequip things mm-hmm. um with a ranged weapon especially like uh javelins and bows where it's literally just a hit for a bow Mm -hmm. um i consider that part of your normal action okay um only if you were like putting down like a shield and sword and picking up a great sword would i be like oh no you need to use like a bonus action to do all of that okay um no javelin you can just pull throw gotcha all right i will strap it across my back yes it's dirty it's very pretty that's pretty um it, it genuinely is i I have I I was inspired by Nordic Fire Festival. Um, mm-hmm. I actually bought a stick there, uh, but it was inspired by uh, ones that I could not afford because they're expensive. Uh, but they're called Thorstruck staves, where they ran electrical current through the sticks. Oh, nice! So they actually burned in the pattern of lightning down the entire thing. Mm-hmm. I just got a like a square cedar stick that's taller than I am, but that was that was fun to bring home. Nice. Uh, but anyway. Yes. And we, she were going to ask something. Uh, it's lost to time. Okay. Well, 
Uh, we'll be on our way and uh, enjoy your poison. Mm -hmm. Is she smiling like that? Insight check. <laughs> no, she's got kind of this little smirk on her face and she's like, okay, I think I will. <laughs> Um, okay. If you, I mean, if you don't mind, just because I'm like randomly thinking about it, please don't kill anybody that doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Oh, I won't. Insight check. Insight check. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was cocked. Oh boy. I got an eight. Uh, insight. Nineteen. 18. Wish, were you gonna... 8. 8? Okay. Um, she's not gonna kill anybody who doesn't deserve it. Seems to be telling the truth. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. We need to go to the beach, beach, uh, beach just beach. for a minute. We gotta get away. We gotta go away. I gotta go Okay, we <laughs> so can do that. I, I, I gotta have we're uh, gonna get away. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get away. Uh, we're <laughs> we're gonna go to the beach and we're gonna take out the beach beach and then we're gonna take out our gallon jugs. You already used your five gallons for the day. Oh, never mind. We're yeah, not we going to the beach beach. We're gonna go to the you square sold square. It. Yeah, you sold death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I job. did. I did. And I. Oh, what consequences? I'm. I'm down for it. I'm living. Um, so yeah, let's go to the let's go to the square square and yeah, it's let's such an awkward go to Enix. Just... Like usually when you show like your bottom row of teeth too, it's just like awkward. It's just like I know. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's go to the square, 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 square. It's actually round, but whatever. Let's go to the round, round. It's well, like they the don't. Round. They don't say meet me in the town round. Well, sometimes it's like the town market, town roundabout. The town roundabout. <laughs> meet me in the town roundabout. It's a, it's an actual thing. Oh my god. The town square sounds a lot. Folksier. Sure. Folksier. <laughs> the marketplace. Yes. Um, We're going to yes. go me, Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, so you guys turn around and you're in the square. Ah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Fast travel. There. <laughs> did, I, um, did I just dimension door by accident? No, it's oh a really God. small town. Oh, I it's thought I like premature dimension small. doored. No. no. I know um, that that happens to some people sometimes. It's yeah, to be. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, but yes. <laughs> no, no. It is not even seven. We can't start this now. Um, you guys make your way across the square to where you do see a number of trees and uh, the uh, Elder Druid's entourage. And uh, she's waiting for you. Hi, Annika. Hello. <laughs> Wait, she's Scottish. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, I How think, are you doing? I think we are ready to go. Okay. That's my Scottish yep. accent. That's Jester. <laughs> That's closer to Jester than you've ever been. I can't do with Scottish. Um, but yeah, she's leaning on a fairly large tree. Um, oh. And you can tell she's been watching. Are our friends here? Oh god. Hold on. I can hear you. Yeah, you? we we still got it. Oh no, we don't. No, nope, now you're gone. Oh. She's been waiting for us. She knows what we did. She's been doing like that weird clairvoyance yeah. thing where like they could watch you from places. Sending no sending scrying. Scrying. Yeah. Which I could probably yeah. do, but I haven't tried yet. We're back. Okay. Back. Oh, now yes. you're back. I've I figured out how to get it to reconnect, but this is going to continue happening. Okay. Um, just if I go out for a few seconds, don't immediately assume that I'm lost to time. Yeah. No, we'll just um, keep talking. Okay, great. 
Uh, um, are our friends here too? Yes. <coughs> okay. Bless you. I assumed they were with you because you didn't tell them to go away. Oh, they've just been sitting like in the corner while we're dealing I, I illegal substances. Went. I assume they went like around the market to get some stuff. They oh, okay. Watching. Get some fish. 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 Uh, but Annika, leaning against the tree, looks over the lot of you and says, Are you ready to go? Yes. Yes, we are. Me mother's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's your gateway phrase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want the chance to change your feet, or you, if you had the chance <laughs> to change your feet, would you? Oh, my God. Did we lose Taylor again? I think we did. No. Oh, oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I thought they were just like really staring at us oh, with that God. salty expression. Oh, my God. <laughs> Me mother's a bear. <laughs> God. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Mm, yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, yes. Fuck. Uh, oh, oh no. God. This is rough. Getting really bad now. Yeah, this is this is rough sauce. Well, the we players can, are now the gods. We are we're the gods we're here. We're the DMs now. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hello? We didn't say anything hi. about usurping no, you. No, I heard everything <laughs> you just oh, said. Damn. damn. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go through the tree. Let's go Indeed. through the tree. Yeah. Tree? tree? Let's go through why? the tree. Every time, why do you have to do Nika Ming Judge? <laughs> Nika Ming Judge. <laughs> Ming Judge. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, she, uh, she turns away from you and puts her hand on the uh, trunk of the tree. And you watch as a tiny little split of light starts following the bark down the side of the tree. And you start to hear the sound of like wood popping and cracking as it splits open from the top and gets wider and wider um, until eventually as the split hits the bottom, the entire like front of the tree just peels back and you see this long sort of uh, tunnel to somewhere that you don't recognize, um, someplace foresty. Huh. Um, but uh, she opens it and steps aside. Well, thank you. Thanks. You'd best hurry. Six okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Rush through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels <laughs> that way. Where you, uh, the second your foot goes in into the tunnel, you're just pulled like magnetically um, and practically thrown out the other side. Um, Mia gets flung a good few extra. I, can I try to catch her? Um, you can try to go for like a long pass catch, like a football. What do I? What should I roll? <laughs> uh, athletics. Long. I'm so good at that. Natural twenty for a twenty-one. Hey. Um, yeah, Kit, you actually like pass Sylphie going through the tunnel, and. Uh oh. Oh, Mia's gonna go fly, and I'm gonna miss you, Mia. You catch her; it's great. And Woo! then I, and we then all I all cheer. As soon as I catch Mia, I yeet her back through the portal. No, no, no! <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, you're back. Good God. Did I catch yeah. her? Um. Yes, you okay. pass Sylphie going through the tunnel, and you kind of have to dive, but you catch her, and like much like a football, you like pull her against your chest, and you just go rolling. Mm -hmm. And touchdown. She's safe. Touchdown! Caught the caught the Yeah! I, I, oh. well. No. <laughs> no. I like sit her down gently. I'm like, got the Vixu. We're good. That's good. And it's like Every thanks. Did everybody else make it through? Nobody lost any limbs or anything? Uh you look back and half of bull is standing now. Oh no! Mm -hmm. <laughs> There goes our tank. Um, yeah, yeah. No, they're they're all good. Um, Clay looks a little like, whoa. 
<laughs> like he's never experienced anything like that before. Mm-hmm. That's um, pretty whereas, cool, isn't it? You do, we do a lot of fun shit like that. Will's just got a little smile on his face. Um, I'm gonna yeah. like turn to Sylvia and be like, "Did that? Did that kind of look like a giant tree vagina to you?" Yeah, a little bit. I wasn't gonna say anything because I already yeah. made like that jug comment back there. Yeah. But like, it like folded really back, like and there's like wiggly bits like i didn't like it <laughs> the dm will remember those <laughs> the teleportation vagina thank you scanlon <laughs> anyway just like <clears throat> right through it <laughs> that'd be painful <laughs> yeah gotta be gentle <laughs> ben doesn't know nope <laughs> yeah Anyway, too gay for this. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to make that clear. That's not a virgin joke. That's a gay. No, joke. that's yeah. a super gay yeah. joke. Um, yeah. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with being a virgin, but it's a gay no, joke. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Just um, had to clarify. Just yeah, had to clarify. Just the same. Anyway, so yes. can we see the beach? Beach? beach uh, no. Beach. No, because we're in the middle of a forest because we had to go through a tree. Which way is south? Do you know how to find south? I don't know. I could roll a nature check, I'm sure, or survival. Yeah, I can try to do that too, I guess. I ho- I lick my finger and like hold it up to the wind. I'm like, <laughs> not sure which way south is. <laughs> uh, yeah, is that nature or survival or is it? Uh-oh. Well, the... God has frozen for a moment, so we're, uh, it's probably a survival check, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Yeah. I'll just but roll, and we'll see. It's a survival, survival check? check. Okay. Survival? Okay. Oh, no. It bounced. Yeah. 11. Uh, 19. Oh, my God. Why are you rolling good, and I'm rolling, like, ass? I just, like, lick my finger and, like, do it again, and I'm like, ah, south is that way. Oh, well, it's south is that way. Okay. Yep. Yep. Still green. They headed south two hours ago. <laughs> Am I alive? Can yeah, you... you're here. Yes, can... now we can. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got the Ice Age joke. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, I didn't uh, know that, it's... that was what it was oh, from Ice Age. <laughs> okay. I watched that movie too much when I was a kid. Uh, yes. So being that you are not horrifically far from where you started, um, even with an 11, it's still fairly easy to tell the direction of south because the sun is still in the east. East. South that way. It's almost overhead, but it's still in the east. Um, but yes. Sun's in the east. Where would you guys like to go? South. coming in? Yeah, we're going to the south. <laughs> like something is brewing about. Uh, I got some bombs in my pocket. Um, let's let's go to the let's go south to the beach. You assume that's to the beach, okay? Well, I mean, eventually you'll. Hit I mean, it. eventually well, yeah. it's the beach, right? Okay. Um, you guys start making your way, and uh, Jesus, make my way. Blew out. Uh. Ah. Everything's white and on so I forgot to turn on our music when we started, so oh, there we go. No, no it's we've fine. Been sitting in silence. Uh, we've been talking a lot. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Now we're sitting in silence. No, we're yeah. not. The music's on now. Ha ta ta ta. My ha, name's ta, ta. Silly. Do, 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 do. <laughs> My name's Sophie. Wah, bah, 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 bah. Wah, bah, bah, <laughs> like Woody. <laughs> I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Um, <laughs> I love that shark. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, make your way downtown, walking fast, face fast from home. You guys uh, continue on your way, and um, you trek for an hour. Two hours. Check, check, Oof. Check, check. Four hours. I thought she said she put us on the... Fuck. No, she said it would be a few hours. Oh my god. Six hours. Uh. Mm, eight hours, it's getting dark. Oh my god. Did well, we... it's not dark, but the sun's <clears throat> gonna set soon. My dogs are barking. I'm just orc, like... Orc, orc, orc. Your, like, your feet, you mean? 
Yes. Have oh, you not heard that okay. phrase? No, I've heard it, but not from anybody under 80. <laughs> and have you, you met me? You actually have dogs, so I thought maybe your dogs were actually no, barking. Oh. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> I, no, I was almost like, I don't hear your dogs. My <laughs> fictional metaphorical dogs. <laughs> my fictional barking. metaphorical dogs. Yes. <laughs> Kids they just are... in the back bark. Bark, bark. Yeah. Bah. I'm just like, my feet sound like you right now, kid. <laughs> All right. Cause, cause I don't we're... understand this hundred year old joke. Because I... your dogs are your feet. Yeah, your dogs are barking, and your feet When hurt. they're sore, they're barking. No, it's supposed to be pigs. Thank you. No, why That's... would your pigs be barking? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, they wouldn't be barking either. What? Pigs? I've never heard yeah, of pigs. Yeah, your toes. That you're, yeah, oh, your toes. Oh, your toes. Your can you imagine? Pigs, can you like imagine oink, oink, oink. if the saying was my pigs are oinking? <laughs> yes, I can because it's oh already my, my dog. God. <laughs> my pigs are oinking. That sounds like okay. something has to do with your hamstrings, like doing a lot yeah. of stairs or something. You're like, oh, my pigs are oinking. Hamstrings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ham strip. I'm just thinking of all the combinations of animal sounds. <laughs> my <laughs> ducks like my, are quacking. <laughs> just, my geese are huh. Dang. <laughs> um, my hooves are name. Oh my god. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, your who? What? You mean your horses are? My hooves are bleating. <laughs> you go. <laughs> See, sheep are bleeding. Sounds more like actually like a foot thing. Sure. What? It does. <laughs> Oh my god, we need to get back on track, you guys. We do. I I blame you guys entirely. My sheeps I'm are bleating. I'm sorry, I said a very common phrase. You did not. In 1940? Yes, I did? Alicia, where are you from? Michigan. <laughs> yeah, but like, where? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you don't have to say. Hamilton, Michigan. It's like... The redneck version of Holland. Yeah, it's basically yeah, like right outside of Holland, uh, and it sucks. Everybody's so white. Redneck. Everybody's yep. ninety. Yep. Yeah. Or okay. or, like, has the intelligence of a cow. A goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, lovely place. Uh, not really. Yes. Yeah, so, eight hours of <laughs> Going travel to the beach. go by. It's getting pretty late in the day. Mm -hmm. um, you have not seen any any beaches. God, I like turned back to Sylvia. I'm like, Jesus, did she drop us fucking I don't on know. the north? Where did she send us? Do you think she we pissed said, her off? She said it was going to be like a few hours, but Jesus Christ. Right? But like, if we keep going south, we have to hit something, right? Like, I, I guess. I mean, eventually, unless she sent us to like a whole different continent, we could be or walking like south for years. Or like a different dimension. Oh, like, I what don't if she we're... sent us to like hell or something? No, it smells fine here. I don't think it's hell. Well, it could just be like a dimension where you, the whole planet is covered in very similar uh, wood, uh, like, like forest area so like she you sent just us keep... to the forest moon of endor yes you just go around and around and like you never know that you you're going around the whole time um maybe maybe we should just make camp i think we're probably okay probably my feet are gonna fall off if we keep yeah walking anymore so. hey bull yeah do you want to help us make camp are you good at finding firewood and he just looks at all the trees. I asked you a question. I didn't ask for a sarcastic answer, Bull. He didn't say anything. He's I, like, it's still yeah. sarcasm. I, I can do that. All right. Be, be careful. It's forest fire season. No gender reveals. No gender reveals. I turn to everybody. I'm like, no gender reveal parties. We can't have this. I saw the bear sign three miles back and it said it's a high chance of forest yep. fires today. 
And you know what he says, it's only you. Only you. Only you with the box of matches. Yes. Cause forest fires. Just put it away and say, no, not today. I'm yes. not going to. Smokey the abstinence my... bear. Just say Smokey no and bear. put it away. You Smokey know, all your, all your friends are going to pressure you. They're going to be like, you should light all those matches on fire. But you know what? It's not cool. It's never been cool. Just say no. <laughs> We're going to make camp. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't. We can't do it. No. Taylor, no. No, don't do it. And oh, they no. froze. <laughs> they froze. Okay. Whew. We're okay. I like Smokey the Abstinence Bear. <laughs> I'd like that. Only you can prevent unwanted pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can pre prevent the spread of venereal disease. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> so we're making camp. I was yeah. about. I was about to start doing the <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, it's like Mamory Heart, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. All I would Jesus. need is just like the glass to make myself sound like a wind chime with all the ice in it. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Yes. I'm laughing fit number one. We're um, gonna make camp. Yes, indeed. Camp. Uh, it's gonna be a damp camp. Hope not. Uh, yeah, uh, Bull, Bull goes around <laughs> gathering up firewood for you guys, uh, uh, and job. you find a fairly cleared out spot where you can you can make a campfire without lighting everything on fire. Um, Clay does not know how to camp. <laughs> um, he's just like, uh, can okay. I help? Well, so what you can do, and I'm like, I look to Sylphie and I like wink. I'm like, uh, what you can do is go <laughs> collect about three bushels of pine needles, and we're going to use those as a bed tonight. Okay. All right. And he goes, like, empties out his bag and goes and starts collecting pine needles. I, like, look back to Sylphie and, like... I mean, uh, he's he's going to figure out that we have, like, cots and stuff with us. We have cots? Well, not cots, like, sleeping bed bags rolls. or whatever. Oh. Yeah, bed rolls. Yeah, well. Still extra padding to sleep on. It'll be comfy. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Mia, on the other hand, once she has enough wood, she has a fire going like that. Oh. Hey. Firefox. She's... <laughs> That was not funny. Don't laugh at that. That was not funny, funny. Alicia. That was a lot funny. It's not funny. Was no. <laughs> Do not give him <laughs> Oh my god, you two. It was such a bad fucking joke. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. You can't, you put way too much eyeshadow on to be crying. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my thoughts at the beginning of this is, oh, her face is going to be blue when we're no, done. No, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. One of these times I can't wait for you to like do this and there's just a streak. Just <laughs> <laughs> you just turn into like fucking, oh God, what's her name with the, oh, I don't know. Like oh, anyway. Madame Medusa from The Rescuers or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> um i was yeah. gonna say like well it's blue not black but like oh, gerard way from like yeah. the, the, the three cheers for sweet revenge uh era of my chemical romance god. i get that oh, kesha turn into kesha. yeah that too. Whew, okay it's uh, fine yes. it's good is k um is k yeah uh, Mia gets things up and going and starts putting together some kind of meal. 
eventually, uh, Clay finishes gathering just a fuckload of pine needles um, and sort of spreads them out. And once he does it, he like looks at Kit like, is this is this good? Yeah, that's great. And then I hand him a bedroll. Um, it's just, it's extra padding. It's just extra. It's, it's going to be so comfortable. You don't want to have like back issues while we're yeah, walking you're around. You're too young for wood. back issues. Yeah, it's. I feel like I'm being tricked. You're not being tricked. Why? Where, Clay. Don't you want an authentic camping experience? Clay, I'm your sister. Why would I yeah, ever exactly. trick you? Oh, wow. Well, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Feeling some hostility here. Not gonna lie, Clay sounds kind of gay. <laughs> I mean, it does rhyme. <laughs> uh, yep. So, um, are you? I'm sorry, Clay. You've never been camping before. No. Where do he you? He lives on the ocean. Did you like grow up in a in a mansion or something? No, on a ship, no. on a boat. My mom lived in Vedrick, and the I pretty much mostly sailed. I've never camped. No. Oh. Well, camping is just like being on a boat, except, except there's no water not. and no boat. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. But and it, you know, and you don't like it. You're not just like back and forth, and you're like, what? Ugh. Like all night, so it's, it's fine. It's nothing like a ship. No, it's just just no. like it. It's just like camping on a boat. It's not anything like it. Anyway, here, do you want some granola bar? Because I don't think we have like. Oh yeah, I forgot fresh. we bought that box of Na Nature's Valley. <laughs> It's really crumbly, so Yeah, sorry. it's getting kind of stale. Uh, <laughs> he's like, nah, I don't eat that shit. I eat natural stuff. Um, anyway. It's uh, made of granola. Yeah. How how overly processed are we here? I'm sorry, is this grass-fed fucking yeah. granola? <laughs> I only eat grass-fed granola. Grass-fed granola. Free-range granola. Free-range <laughs> Cage free, free, free. <laughs> free range plants. Yep. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so what do you eat, Clay? Uh, um. Do you eat dirt? Like what? That's pretty natural. Fish mostly. Well, I I don't know if you've noticed. Like don't. <laughs> but we are nowhere near any fish. <laughs> I can't stand you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do they? Do you, I'm not even doing anything? I'm just sitting here. I mean, do you? It's mostly it's what Ben says, and then it's your reactions <laughs> that get me. Do you? Um, can you fish in the woods? <laughs> if you teach a bear to fish, <laughs> I think it's called hunting. Yeah. If you um, teach a bear to fish. <laughs> His boyfriend will eat real good. It'll eat real good. <clears throat> no. You no, do know um, bears do know how to fish, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Because bears eat fish. Uh, um, yeah. Clay just eventually is just like, um, bye. And he, like, takes his <laughs> stuff and he he's like, I'm going to go find food. <laughs> okay, take a buddy. Bull, go with, go with him. And Bull watches, and he's like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of big to be anyone's oh, hunting I'll bike. go with him. No, oh okay. my uh, God. Uh, Mia was like, she had her hand in there. She's like, oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. No, no, Kate, okay, you That's go. short we'll... joke. No, I actually didn't notice. <clears throat> um, do you want to go with him? You can go with him. Yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty good hunter. Go for it. Something tells me nature boy there doesn't know much. And she like scampers off after him. Yeah. Do you feel like maybe we should follow them? Like I he's never camped before. Do you think what? he's been in the woods before? <coughs> I trust Mia. She's fine. Do you think this is his first time seeing a tree? Oh my god, no, it's not. We were just surrounded by a bunch of trees. Well, I just I uh... He feels a little out of his element. Like it's kind of like yeah. putting a well, fish you know 
in in the middle of the woods. Fine. You know what? If you want to go follow him, then go right ahead. But I'm fine here. I trust him. He's 16. He's not stupid. Well, I guess those are aren't He's related mutually. to you. Well, wait, not that blood. doesn't quite work. I just oh, had like a my blood. I just had a like a little mermaid flash. You're like, Daddy, I love him, and you're like, Shut up! You don't know <laughs> anything. <laughs> you're sixteen. You're sixteen. Um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure they don't die, right? Okay, have I'm fun. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sneak off. I'm gonna sneak off. Neek. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, stealth check. Self check out. Oh, I'm sorry. I tied my fingers into my drawstrings and I. <laughs> oh, um, I just play with the strings on my pants while we're talking. Stealth check. Ooh, that's a that's a good one. That's a real good one. Uh, twenty one. Okay. Um, you're able to keep up with them pretty all right. Um, they also stealth their way into the woods. I have um, my javelin at the ready. And I'm keeping my eyes open for wild game. Oh Especially like a moose. Oh, God. Um, all right. Because I kind of want a lightning bolt a moose. <clears throat> um continue make a make a perception check perception perception 23 fuck okay um well probably aren't moose here oh. um just cuz they wouldn't be able to fit between the trees with their antlers or their bodies <laughs> um but uh, the further you follow them, um, you do watch Mia get on the trail of some deer. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually they make their way to where there's a little spring in the woods with a stream that leads uh, southwest. And as they sort of sneak up on the, uh, on the spring, you sneak <laughs> up behind them. And uh, you see a small herd of deer. Uh, mostly does in one buck all just kind of drinking out of the spring just kind of drinking nothing nothing exciting and um mia who's sort of acting as like clay's spotter uh like sits in next to him and she's like okay now go ahead and he like he pulls out his bow and you see he's got he's got some experience where he he pulls up with a, a good form mm -hmm. um can before he lets it go, can am I close enough? Because so a, a javelin has a range of thirty to one hundred and twenty feet. So like, uh -huh. am I how close am I? You could do it. I wanna I wanna do it before he gets the chance. Roll to hit. Roll uh, to so hit the... javelin so... is is mm -hmm. range, so it's plus your dex mod to hit, and then yes. is there anything else? Besides Hold just on, the let decks. me grab you the actual lightning oh, okay. javelin. Because I pulled just a regular javelin, but... No, javelin of lightning is an actual, like, d and item. Oh. I'll send it to you. Ah, I see. Javelin Jesus. of lightning. Um, <laughs> hello, I am God. <laughs> oh, it's still the same. Yeah, all the other stuff's the same. Um, what's different is the actual, uh lightning part um it has a command word indeed oops um yeah so even if you miss with the javelin um the lightning bolt will still hit and either do uh full or half damage okay so is it just plus your dex mod then for the attack bonus um do you have proficiency with javelins I have proficiency with simple weapon. Simple weapons. Yes, okay. You should then. Okay. So that adds my proficiency then. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, three plus four, so seven to hit. 
just not great. Uh, the javelin won't hit, but okay. the lightning will. I need to make dexterity save. It's a yep. 13. Uh, <clears throat> fail, so roll 4d6 lightning damage. Ten lightning damage. Yeah, Man. that's plenty to kill the deer. That is so bright. I know. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have to look at my shit. Um, I know. But yeah, uh, you like sneak up right behind Clay, and as he like draws the bow, you're just like, huh. the javelin misses terribly. Um, it goes right under the deer. Um, but the lightning that follows just arcs straight into the side of the deer. Just... Um, all of the other deer flee, and you watch as the one that was standing is, like, stock still, and just tips over, <laughs> smoking. I kind of <laughs> leaned down to him, like, it's pre-cooked! And he, like, stares at this, and he's like, Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the image of like a deer just like legs out, like standing there and just like <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking like a fainting ghost. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> I got it. I think its eyes exploded. I Oh god. I'm gonna do a perception check to see if its eyes exploded. Go ahead. <laughs> 19. Oh, yeah, them eyeballs popped. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, um, I go and retrieve my javelin, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll see you back at camp. The, <laughs> the smell Bye. burning hair is real. <laughs> um. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> the deer has no hair left. It's just all been burnt off. Well, no, specifically in, like, the spot where it was struck. Um... But yeah, as you go up close to it, you see the body, like, still, like, completely stiff. Um, and as you, like, pick up your javelin, the, the magic kind of fades, and it's a grisly sight. Like, everything, just blood out of the ears and the nose and the mouth. Fucking eyeballs are just, like, um, all the fur is singed. The, uh, there's a fun thing that I heard about that happens sometimes when people get struck by lightning, and it is because their feet are the place where the uh, lightning goes through to ground itself, sometimes it blows the bottom of their feet off. Um, so this deer might be missing a move or two. <laughs> oh god! Jeez, you destroyed it! Yeah. Oh my god, there's still- <laughs> All four hooves are still on the ground! <laughs> Like where it left, it just fell off. <laughs> the little, the little doe tail is still going. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. Oh my god, it's awful. Oh, oh it's wait, so okay. uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't want my eyeliner to run. No, no. <laughs> okay. Not fun, is it? No. Nope. Um. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Um. But. Yeah. Uh, there we good. <laughs> The, the two of them walk up to it and, like, Clay, like, nudges it with his toe. And he's like, is this still edible? And Mia's like, I don't know. Um, I, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> because it's probably burned. Just in that one spot. Yeah, but they both, like, get down and, like, start cutting it open and cleaning it. Yeah. Or is it? insides cooked as they like pour them out they're steaming no, there there's probably there's definitely steam just from the body itself well, yeah. but a strike of lightning isn't enough to cook something ah. it has to be i know way too much about lightning physics no that's um, fine uh yeah so i guess i'll lead the way back with like my javelin over my shoulder like a ninja turtle yeah, they're both kind of like somewhere between like holy shit and like what an asshole. Um, <laughs> it was fun. I wanted to try out a new toy. For you. also scared away everything within five square miles. Um, That's like the whole island. They don't have very far to go. And blew out everybody's ear. This is a big island. 
Right. Um, oh. Kaboom. Kaboom. It's the size of a state. Oh. Is big. Ah. Well, which state? Because uh-huh. Rhode Island isn't very big. A state of anxiety. Well, if you ah. consider Harris. That's really big. Harris yeah. is three times the size of the U.S. Um, from Whoa. side to side. Uh, Ennick is probably the size of like Pennsylvania. No, uh, bigger. Oh, uh, it's kind of shaped like Texas? Pennsylvania. Probably somewhere under the size of Texas. Whoa. We could be Damn. here for years. Jeez. There's a snake in my boot. Tracking across Harris is like the Oregon Trail times three. Mm. Um, okay. Well. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to camp. We're gonna eat some charbroiled deer. Some Thor struck deer. Thor struck deer. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, we struck that bitch with some lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to run when it's lightning. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing faster or longer range than this here staff of lightning. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, but you can't dodge a lightning bolt. I mean, yeah. Anyway. anyway. Yes. <clears throat> so, Sylphie, you and Bull back at camp, just kind of getting things set up. Uh, you have a moment where these fuckheads are gone for a while. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Bull is sitting there with you, just kind of like tending the fire. And he glances over at you. He's like, So, um. This isn't quite what we expected. No. I, landing, in, landing in the middle of nowhere. I was hoping we'd be a lot closer to civilization, but... Well, there's not a lot of civilization on Inic. I know. But at the very least, I know we can't be too far from the coast. There's seagulls around. That's true. Probably another day when we'll get there, but... Um, it's a big island. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the faster we get through here, the faster we get to Morris Rest, so. Um, <clears throat> are you okay? I'm great. What? Look at me. I'm just like covered in dirt and like sweaty and nasty and everything. Look at me. I'm, I'm gorgeous. I'm. It's um, great. I wasn't it's... arguing with that, but um Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> um No, I mean, I mean about um about Marin. I mean, sure. Why why wouldn't I be? She's alive. So well, it just feels like you've learned some things about her that might have been unexpected. It's nothing that can't be fixed. I... This Silas Moore, he obviously has manipulated her in some way. And... But what if he has him? What... What if he hasn't? He's the, the leader of the biggest band of smugglers and shitheads in the world. So doesn't really make me think he's like the best guy ever. That's manipulation is in the Arbiter's blood, especially the Moors. There's no... (laughs) He's not like some shining knight or anything. Maybe she thinks so, but that's because she's 17, 18 right now. I I thought there were guys out there who were shining knights in armor who could rescue me at 17. (laughs) But they're not. (laughs) So well, maybe not shining knights in armor, but um 
I don't know. Just because he... Just because he doesn't seem like the shittiest of the shitheads doesn't mean he's still not a shithead. No, I don't understand what you're talking about, John. Not that bad doesn't mean it's that good, either. I get it. Yeah. I just wanted to check in. Um... It'll be fine. It'll be good. Once we get over the hard part of getting in there and getting her, it'll be it'll be good. It'll be fine. Are you still trying to convince yourself? I mean, if I didn't, then I would be curled up in a ball somewhere, too scared to do it. Fair enough. So Sorry, I have yeah. to keep convincing myself that it's going to be good. I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, I'm not upset. Look at me. I'm happy. I'm smiling. <laughs> you, it's great. You're, uh, you have a very particular way of hiding upset. I'm starting to get used to it. I thought I was all secrets, but apparently no. not. No, not to me. You like to talk a lot more when you're insecure. Well, that means I'm secure. Uh, that means I'm insecure all the time. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Bull doesn't laugh. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I laugh because I'm like, duh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he scooches over and he puts a huge arm around you. And he's like, I believe you. It's going to be okay. I kind of lean into him and I just give him a pat on his arm. It's like, you're a good kid. Even though you're older than me. Yeah. Still a good kid. <laughs> you sound like Jace. <laughs> How are you holding up? Are you missing everybody back at the caravan, or...? Yeah, a lot. Mm. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I wanted to come and help, and I'm helping, and eventually I'll go back. Yeah. There, and I suppose also part of this is uh, there's some other people I miss that I'm hoping to see along the way, but I don't know if that's in Moore's Rest? No, not not here, but like uh, M. Nobelin and uh, mm. people like um, Anna. I miss Anna. That was Jace's daughter, right? No, um, she was uh, she was a dancer. Uh, oh. uh, one of the sword dancer dancers. Oh. Uh, she she left long before you well no I suppose you did meet us well you met the others in uh, in Sega Raphia so you would have you might have actually seen her, her perform but um, she mm -hmm. she left uh, her wife came and got her oh yeah they just honeymooned away or <laughs> no uh or... no uh they uh it wasn't that smooth um at first it didn't look like it was going to really work out and then anna decided that b was her responsibility to keep alive because if you'd met her you'd understand why um <clears throat> but uh, they went off to I guess to Haven, but uh, hmm. okay. Yeah, but I'm hoping we'll run across them again. Well, in Sigurafia if they pass through. But honestly, I mean, we're I just all want to see the place again. Yeah, we're all making our own pit stops, so yeah. Um, Might as well. I'm also interested to see. Um, 
I've never gotten much chance to see uh, see much of Amno Blin. I've been to Sigaray Fair. I've I guess I've been to Yomane, but uh... Wow, what a fascinating story, Bull. The, really? Oh. Wow. Tell me more. Great. Yeah, you used to <laughs> go into like this this little tavern. Ha ha ha. That's and, totally uh, like you, Bull. I really loved it. It was like kinda <laughs> great. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you cut off. <laughs> I noticed as soon as you started saying <laughs> things. <clears throat> I can hear you, but apparently you couldn't hear me. Yeah. Nope. No. Um all right. So uh am I am I still here? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. God. <laughs> um, he says, yeah, I've been to Yalmane, but um, only really to the Temple of Hesperus there. So I'm kind of excited to see Taldunost. Um, seems like an interesting place. I've heard there's this, uh, this reef outside the town that extends all the way to Drozdana. And um, apparently it follows like this lava vent that goes under the surface. And it's like all this life that follows the lava river but if you go beyond the bounds of the river the life just sort of drops off and it's some of the mm. uh, clearest water that there is mm. so i'm i'm curious to see it but, i'm um, curious to go to tell Danas too obviously but yeah uh, but draws Dana is supposed to be really terrifying so mm. i uh I kind of don't want you to go alone. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably be fine. Maybe. I'm sure you'd be fine, but I still don't really fancy anyone going alone. Yeah. We'll, we'll all go together. Yeah. As a group. Yeah. I'm going to shut up before I embarrass myself. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm being weird. You're not being weird. Um, <clears throat> uh, and he gets up and goes off about his business. Okay, now you're being weird, but... <laughs> He's just like, sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah. does Kit the Magnificent Deer Hunter return? <laughs> Kit returns, leading... The two other, well, Clay is pretty much carrying the deer because Mia yeah, can't. Um, a lightning struck, eyeless, hoofless deer. Why? Why are you carrying that? I'm burnt like holding piece the of, stick. Like, why are yes. you carrying that burnt tree with you? <laughs> oh, and Clay oh. is like, um, it's actually food. Surprisingly, I don't think it's. I don't think it's food anymore. It's edible. It, it is. It is. Just not. Don't eat anything near the skin. That's all of it. Don't, of it's it. fine. We'll, <laughs> and Mia's just like, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it'll be fine because. Be, because. Guess who knows how to use the new new javelin they got? Ah. Uh, and yeah. Clay looks okay. at Kit like you missed. But did I? Yes. But did I? It yes. sounds like it. I'm sorry. Does he have any hoofs left? That's that doesn't mean you hit with the actual. Does stick. he have any eyeballs left? <laughs> is he dead? She. Is, I don't. Is they dead? I don't think <laughs> any of those are indicators of doing a good job. I'm pretty sure it still fucking died, and we're still gonna eat the goddamn thing. So I win. Yeah. Clay just kind of dumps the deer on the ground. What do you it's know mostly... about it, fish boy? Fish, fish boy? Yeah, he said he wanted some fishes. I don't know. Fuck it, fish boy. Oh, he wanted to eat fish. I just He's said I normally eat fish. Hmm. He's not a triton. Okay, well, dog boy. This is a <laughs> land fish. What? All right. Both of you, like, shut the fuck up. I'm so hungry. I... Yeah, Mia is already, like, 
cutting out pieces of meat and getting them ready. Um, the the insides are fine. Just some of the organs are a little fried and mm. weird looking. Um, the meat itself is, is fine. I'm chewing at it. I'm it's, just like, it's really good. It's is this like, like the turkey in National Lampoon's Vacation where they're just like, no, no, it's totally, it's totally okay. Once you get past like the surface, like skin and fat and stuff, it's fine. Just don't eat the liver. It's a little ozone-y. Um, <laughs> that filtration system's really working. Mm. Um, no, the rest of it's perfectly fine. Ah. Um, but uh, Mia Mia pre- prepares dinner. She seems to be a pretty good cook. And Bull helps, even though he's still awkward as fuck. Um, yeah. But uh, you guys have dinner and chill out around the fire and yeah. I want to do one thing before we go to bed. Yes. I want to. Yes. 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 I would like to. <laughs> I'm going to tell Sophie. I'm going to be like, so I have a new spell that I want to try. Don't okay. worry. I'm not going to kill anything else. I don't think. Um, no promises. But I, uh, I need something. I have something I need to go do. So I'm going to go like lean against a tree and meditate and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I guess it maybe... sounds like I'm going to the woods to masturbate. Yeah, <laughs> God does. I guess you can. Do you say that out loud to no, me? No, no. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm like, all right, just clean up after yourself, I guess. Wash I your hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah we, we all need alone time, I guess. <laughs> uh,. Yeah, I'm going to go find a tree to sit under. Okay. And I'm going to... I didn't say that to you. I'm just leaving. I'm like, bye. Oh, Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, So I go find a tree. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sit underneath it. And I'm going to cast Divination. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the question... So I think I can speak out to, like, Savros... Mm-hmm. Since that's my patron god, I don't know if I can speak to any others. Uh, it kind of says like a god of your choosing, but I don't know if it's that wishy washy. Contact with a god or a god god's god servants. Uh, yeah, you can pick anybody. Oh, okay. Uh, who's the most powerful god? depends on your idea of most powerful who knows the most well generally the god of wisdom uh do you want wisdom or intelligence well, who's who would be the most knowing of events that have happened on altera not altera, uh, altera. At okay uh well it was senna Mm-hmm. The goddess of mystery and knowledge. Um, now, unless you want to try, see and see if Senna will answer. Um, uh, I guess would Kit even know, or would Kit just be like, "Oh yeah, Savros." Senna. Um, well, Savros is the trickster god, basically. Mm. Um. He's not like a knowledge necessarily, more like wisdom and experience. Um, gotcha. Senna was the goddess of knowledge. I think now that mantle has kind of been passed to either Ursan being the god of death and sort of the god of the natural cycle. Um, or if you want to go most powerful and closest to all knowing, you could go with Atlaren herself, or you could try uh, Senna's husband, which is Talon, the god of justice, also now sometimes called the god of revenge. Hmm. I think I'm going to reach out to Atlaren herself. Okay. And the question I am going to ask her is... You can also reach out to Ayun. Oh yeah, Ayun knows a lot. She's literally the goddess of knowledge, but she's not from the Balin pantheon. Hmm. I'm going to reach out to Atlaren. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm going to ask, where can I find the air staff? Because I don't know what, I can't remember the name of it. Um, Me the... can't remember the name of it because I didn't know how to spell it, so I didn't write it down. Okay, hold on. I'll grab it. Sorry. <sighs> Such bright. Much wow. Yeah. <laughs> God, that is bright. Yes, I'm so some white. Stuff. <laughs> I'm so pale. Tasty. I'm so pale. People, people think I'm the moon. Um, <laughs> What? I, I don't know. Well, that was a the video key, clip from Highland Staves. Never mind. Those. <laughs> the air staff. Uh, the Gaitha hide. Gaitha hide. Where do I find yes. the Gaitha hide? Since that is a goal of ours. So let me tell you what you know about it now before the question. Okay. Uh, the Gaitha Hyde staff is, from what you know, the only staff that no one knows where it is. Yes. Um, and you would know that the last time anybody saw it was outside of Haven. Um, in Amnoblin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hide staff not been seen for a century. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, so I went missing a century ago. Uh, reaching out to the wisdom of the the Earth Goddess. Um. This sort of spell doesn't give you a direct connection to her, but essentially allows you to tap into her knowledge. Mm -hmm. And um, from what you can tell from her, it's a little cryptic and kind of in pieces, and you mm -hmm. think it's meant to be that way so that it's hard to figure out. Um, but you get sort of a set of images. Um, you get a fairly familiar view of Ambero uh, Island or Greensmarch Island and then you sort of feel the focus shift um, out into the ocean and then you have an image of this uh, large sort of tower that's partially collapsed underwater and you see sitting at the very bottom of the tower, at the deepest part of this sort of trench, to the point where it's almost so dark you can't see, mm. um, there is a spear-shaped whitish gray crystal laying just on the floor, the broken stone floor. Okay. Um, you I'm do writing you, all this down. <laughs> you can probably tell that there are tatters of something that used to be wrapped around it mm -hmm. that have probably like rotted away. It looks like it was placed here on purpose. Mm. Does it look like it's stuck there, or does it look no, like it's it looks just like it was there. dropped? Ah, ah. Okay. Some heart of the ocean shit. Right. Ah. Literally. And then she just she just yeets it over the side of the boat and she's like, peace out, bitches, grandma out. <laughs> I'm and dying died, now. And then she dies. Um yeah. okay. Cool. I uh I imagine I come out of it and I'm just like, oh well that was weird. Oh um Huh, leaves a weird taste in my mouth. Tastes like dirt. Tastes like... Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the fire. I'm gonna pull Sylphie aside. <laughs> Be like, hey. I don't want to hear about, like, your private time. It's fine. Like, we, we can what share I... things without, like, oversharing. 
So what if I told you, first smell my hand? No, oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, first, so what if I told you I know where the Gaitha hide is? Uh, is it on the way to where we're going? No, but it might be something you can help with. Okay, this sounds like the beginning of uh, like a pyramid scheme pitch, but all right, go ahead. When we get to the ocean, can you ask a favor from the fish? The fish or tell Damast? The fish or M- Maz Gadradal or whatever his name is. Uh, Maz Galondinir. I mean, I can try. Is it in the ocean? It is, but I don't know what the place is called. I've never seen it before. Hmm. It's an underwater tower that's been collapsed, and it lies at the Make bottom. History check. Wait. Oh, history yeah. check for me or for her? Uh, both of you. Oh. Okay. That's not good. Seven. Uh, I got. A 19. Kit, you think it has something to do with the Calamity? Mm-hmm. Uh, Sylphie, being that you've lived on Harris all your life, and you actually know the Calamity story fairly well, his description <laughs> of the tower and considering <laughs> that he mentioned how like deep down and like dark it was, the first thing that pops into your head is Green Hall the literal epicenter of the calamity yeah the, so i had a vision from tell Dunos too that had an underwater tower is that oh gosh i wonder if i'm talking about the same place yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay uh, do we need if you had a vision of it and now i've had a vision of it i spoke to at lauren but um should we go there Probably, right? Like, I mean, it seems important. I'm pretty sure I know underwater breathing. Maybe I well, don't. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can breathe underwater. I did that one time. Okay. We'll, we'll see if that yeah. works again. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, we so can if do that... what we're doing, but I didn't know if maybe you could send the fish after it? Or maybe we should they're... just leave it there for now. Do we want to trust a bunch of fish to bring us one of the Hydaelyn staves? I mean, like, to be fair, your fish is a god. Okay, but to be fair, this stave, like, probably caused the calamity, right? One of them. So, like, I think maybe that should be a task that we personally... Mm-hmm. Do. We'll, it's so we'll fun get... to watch you guys try to remember the things I've told you. I don't know. And I'm just like, oh man, if only you'd been listening. <laughs> I've listened to it many uh, times. I just <laughs> you just have a shit memory. Yeah. I have. Yeah, retention skills are not great. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we, I... if we get it, we could <laughs> on our way to Tal Dunost, we could take it to <sighs> Kenamac Amberro. Kenna yeah. McGambro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. McKenna like one, yeah. Once we're done here and we go to more get Marin, we can go to Green Hall, get the staff, and then bring it to Kenna mm-hmm. McAmbro. Okay. And then we'll wipe our hands of it and be like, that's the good thing that we did for the decade. Let's illegally sell some illicit substances to people. I mean, we could try finding the other ones, too. Is that really our business? I mean, the Heidelin cult is trying to kill us. I feel like it's our business now. I mean, I guess, but... We could use it against them. I don't feel confident in my ability to... I can barely swing a sword. Do you think... Oh, we I don't can... have to give it to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. There's staves. I mean, it's kind of in my You're... realm. They're a little more complicated than just a staff. <laughs> like, they're like the most powerful fucking things ever. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just saying we we can't just treat this like, oh yeah, you know, why not? It's a little more mm -hmm. complicated than that. Okay. We'll talk about it. We can go to Green Hall. Whatever, but Okay. I just uh keeping the information flowing so we know what's going on. And I can do this okay. once a day, so if there's things we need to ask, I would like to ask about the Heidelin cult and see if there's anything we can do to get rid of them faster. I guess I can talk to Toldanos too, but mm. I don't know. I'm so focused on getting Moore's rest that I can't think past that. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. All right. Well, now you know, and we'll we can go to bed whenever. Right now, I'm sleepy. Yeah. Good night. Good night. And we're sleeping. Check. Anybody so, taking watch? Break time. Oh, um. Are we taking watch? I wasn't going to. Too late. Nobody's watching. Okay. All right. Yes. Break time. Break time. Okay, we'll be back in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. And we're back. Hello. Hello, lovelies. Hello. Oh, you're so beautiful, lovelies. <laughs> so pretty. Well. Anyway. <laughs> well. Well. Indeed. All right. I scarfed a bagel so fucking fast. I ate a cheese stick and gave myself, I'm still doing some medications for mm -hmm. my, my stuff. And so I had to have Corey stick me in the butt really wow. fast. Well, oh, fine. not, not in a sexy way. <laughs> no, like with a syringe and a yep. dartboard. Yeah. Yep. You just you just run out, Corey, do it. Yep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was I was also like, okay, take your time, like I have some time so that he wasn't like <laughs> Just thunk but, it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Basically what you gotta do. I mean yeah. that's what they do. I used to get poison ivy really bad as a kid and they give you steroid shots in the butt for that. And they oh. basically do that. They like really they just take it and they go Pff! like like yeah, they that's do what you when you do. when you uh when you get your flu shot or whatever and they just like shove it down to the bone in your arm like assholes. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. there are certain shots that you get in like your shoulders and uh like your legs too that they're just like, "Okay, here we go." And you're like, "Oh god." Yeah. <laughs> Warn me, you were gonna throw it next time. Yeah, yeah like I told you, needles are not good. They're well, just like I have a pretty voluptuous booty, like just like fat butt, and like it's made, it's made like needles and stuff okay, like because there's a lot of padding in there and everything. Mm -hmm. But like now it's getting to the point where it's like we've done it so much that it's all like sore and yeah. everything. So like last night I thought I was I thought I saw God for a second. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh no, this is the end. This is how I die. <laughs> One needle to the yeah. wrong place. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know. It'll like it'll hurt more for a little while and then it'll start to deaden a little bit yeah. again. So yeah. it That's does the same thing on my end. fingers when I have to lance them to like do my tests every three months. Like it's, yeah, yeah, they start to hurt after a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your, all your nerve endings will die and you'll be yes. fine. What do I need my butt nerves for anyway? <laughs> I mean, Mostly just to make know. sure you don't sit you on sharp know. things, but that's or kind hot of the way Well, are. so it's like my upper butt, so it's not like it's it's closer to my hip area. It's like the love handle area. So like, <laughs> I don't need it. Just laser it all, laser all the the nerves out. And... Next time on at Lauren Adventuring <laughs> Company Medical Talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gross. That, that's um, all. That's all. God, I can tell. I could 
uh, never mind. I don't want to make anybody feel old. Can you tell no. we're getting older? We're yeah. just like, oh my god. I'm the youngest these, one here. All these medications, come on. Right. <laughs> the youngest one here. You are. I'm probably. just practicing good sexual health by getting I, tested. I, <laughs> over over the break, turned 30. So I'm Oh, the that's right. Club. Happy birthday. Thanks. Happy oh, birthday. I've been 30 for almost a year. You're fine. I'm I'm mostly fine. If with it, if anything, but... you should be glad you're not in your twenties anymore. Your twenties. My God, twenties are terrible. They really are. Like just looking back at it, I'm just they're like better... I don't know how happy I was through most of that, but they're better than teens. Yes, but they still suck. Yes, it's true. It's like but it... teens, but you have bills to pay. Oh. Yeah. But also, but... nobody can tell you what to do. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Like, Unless that makes it's the all IRS, the bills worth it is the being able to walk out of my house at any time I want. That, or, yeah, that's, that's the goal. Um, or like being able to be like, you know what? I'm just getting Taco Bell. Right. I can buy Taco Bell whenever I want. Right. Nobody, yeah. go, nobody gonna tell me no. Yeah. No, Who's I had gonna a, stop me. I had a fan. Well, because obviously I live with Dad right now. I can't just do whatever I want whenever yet. Um, but. Over the weekend, because I was up north and I had a motel room, I had a moment at like four a.m. where I was like, "I can just leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can just, I can just go." <laughs> and I did. Yeah. And I was just like, "Why did I do that?" Because I could. <laughs> oh, speaking of fucking being up in Marquette, I hiked all of Sugarloaf Mountain. That yeah. shit's fucking scary. I can't imagine doing that at night. Oh, you're missing out. You shouldn't. Oh do. my. God. You were saying on the bears. There was an ambulance that came while we were there because some jackass fell down the mountain. Yeah. Did he die? Is oh, I don't know. I don't know. Practically they, every well, weekend during the summer. They didn't take like a backboard. They just took a couple of big backpacks. So either he was already dead and they <laughs> knew that or uh, it was just someone with like just a twisted gonna, ankle. They, scra they would scrape him up in the yeah. They yeah. would have taken a board if he was dead. Yeah, they would have. Yeah. But they just no. had like hiking packs, and they they went okay. up the mountain to like probably help someone who was got in over their head and was I get, like, I can't get back down. I get nervous about going hiking places just because I'm like, I'm gonna get lost, or this this can't be like. The actual place I'm supposed to be, like right, yeah. I don't know. It just makes me nervous. End up being the like that 127 hours guy, and I have to like no chop thanks. my arm off with. Nope. Yeah, don't want that. No. I had a fantastic time driving up there in like the dark, mm -hmm. uh because I, I mean, I told you guys I left at 8 p.m. ish um, last Friday. And I arrived around 3.45 in the morning. Oh. Uh, I stopped at one of those scenic turnouts where there's, like, nobody. Yeah. Four miles. Yeah. Um, right next to Lake Superior. And I just got out of my truck and I stared at the sky and, like, the moon and watched the, the tide come in, or the, the waves come in. Mm -hmm. As, uh, it was, like, freaking 1.30, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Just standing there in immense just wilderness danger yeah <laughs> just enjoying the fuck out of myself and there's like yeah. those three little mice on the beach and they're just like when the moon hits, when it hits your, your eye, eye like, like how big it's no eye. that night like fucking a beethoven like sonata was playing it was Ooh. awesome did you see my favorite place uh what? across the bridge is Probably. the mystery spot oh my god oh god i love it i <laughs> love hokey tourist stuff like that we've been there Jesus. countless times oh god the last time we were up there we went to the mystery spot i bought a shirt from them it was great i want to go I back just for the kitschy stupidity yeah. of it all they're like, ooh, look, gravity is being defined. Oh, Physics look, this, doesn't matter. And I'm like, this water flows upstream. Ah. Like, all right. All right. Should we get back to our game? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. We we haven't had a chance to catch up yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. She's morning. 
Oh, we survived the night. That's what you think. We're actually in hell. I mean, they did say it was like Texas, so. That's true. So, hell. Yeah. So besides come sa. Texas. It's more like I'm the feel of middle. Uh, that's a completely, like, inaccurate French saying. Come see, come sa means, like, so-so. I don't know why I said that. Say <laughs> lovey. Yeah, say lovey. I'm gonna say mama sa, mama kusa. Uh, <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I really got me. <laughs> waka waka, AA. AA. <laughs> this time for Song Africa. Me now, me now, I can't actually sing oh, it. This was Africa. <laughs> she, listen, everybody makes fun of her, but I actually like her voice. No, she good, sounds she's like a, good a goat, singer, but... but she is a good singer. She does have a uh, interesting goat voice. Well, yes, that's the thing is it is unique, so it's like stands ah. out. I like people with unique voices, like Bar Barbara Streisand, Bette mm. Midler. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Bart Simpson. I was like, no, that bitch can go die in a barn fire. Uh, oh my god, whoa, a barn fire! Strong, yes. I strong. hate that little bitch. Oh my gosh, strong I hate feelings. The Simpsons. Whoa. I okay. am All neutral. Right. Kids. <laughs> the only one of them worth the saving from a barn fire is, is Lisa. Probably either Lisa or Marge. Yeah. Can we? Hey. Yes. Dungeons and Dragons. You guys are the ones who are the players. What are you doing? I don't know. We woke up. Okay. <gasps> well, you woke up. <gasps> oh, yes. I am awake. Um, yes. You wake up. I'm to... alive. Wow. Boys will love me. Boys will me. love me. <laughs> world is full of magic i am beautiful <laughs> uh so we're young oh, oh. That's oh. selfie yeah basically yep. yeah. <laughs> after she got that greater restoration she's like we're young <laughs> oh my god with the side mouth we're young yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that because alicia kind of does that a little uh so I <laughs> I do it too now that I have this lip ring. I like always talk to the to my lip ring without realizing it. Anyway, uh <laughs> we woke up and yes. I'm sure there's some fucking trees and we need to go south. Is everybody yes. awake? Um Clay, yes. are you awake, you lazy yes. bitch? Okay. He kicks you. <laughs> I hit him with a lightning bolt. Just kidding. Okay. Turn, yeah. I don't want his hooves to fall off. Um, so. Anyway. Yeah, so you guys get yourselves up. It is a little bit after dawn, getting an early start today. And uh, when you wake up, uh, Mia is Mia, already awake and she's making breakfast. There's a beer. <laughs> there's a beer. <laughs> is, is breakfast the leftover <laughs> the leftover deer. lightning deer? There's some lightning deer, yeah. <laughs> Bolt deer! Oh my um, god. Yeah. yeah. Lightning deer, some rations, some some local shit that she found because she's good at some you local know, flora. scavenging. Indeed. And fauna. Hmm. We've got the fauna. Uh, uh, the fauna went. <laughs> yeah, the fauna went. <laughs> Like oh, oh. <laughs> no more. Uh, no more. Sylphie, in her, because she's not a morning person. Uh, it's just like <laughs> I love how you closed one eye when you said that. Not a morning person. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's just like all right, okay. Let's eat this <laughs> fucking <laughs> dead deer. <laughs> And get on the road as fast as possible. I feel like I'm too excited to talk to you guys God. again. Like, it didn't hit me until halfway through this session that I'm like, oh, people. Um, uh, yeah. uh, okay, well, let's eat some deer. Deer? 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 deer. Uh, All right, no, deer. we're moving away. You guys are on the road. Geek no human more. gag. <laughs> um... <laughs> Wow. So uh, we're, we're getting. Can we just 
keep that as like an inside joke. Like every time we do any reference to her, just say her name a little more fucked up. <laughs> that yes. was Nikki Evening Gag. <laughs> <laughs> It just get it just by the end of it, it's just all gonna be G's. It's just hang it. Um, uh, it's J's. So we're all gonna go south. Thank you. Yes, that's where you we've been going. Get on the route, and uh, it. And this, I would walk five hundred miles, and I would I walk five hundred more. I forget, I can't sing along with you because we're probably out of sync. Yeah, slightly. Um, that Boy. was probably horrific. But yes. That uh, was our walking song. <laughs> That's everybody's walking song. Yeah. On the way. <laughs> on the way. I would like to yeah, that too. <laughs> I went to the Shrek musical on where, like, they're like. You. The Shrek musical where they have the travel song. And they make fun of all the other musicals in the background. Oh, I'm a um, we. For misery, misery the happiness of the uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh my god, okay. That's also the proclaimer. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we need to go <laughs> I've been south. trying to, but you guys keep saying things and then I have to join in. <laughs> this yes, is a disaster. Going south. Going three, south. Three hours into your journey, um, you begin to hear the crash of the waves. I this. hear the waves. The waves. I hear the waves. <laughs> I wonder if it's full of bees. <laughs> I just spit everywhere. All right. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. So the trees begin to thin, and you guys start to get into more like uh, seagrass territory. And eventually, you cross over several sort of levels of dunes before Ryan you get the Ryan seagrass beach territory itself. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, from here, you are able to actually get your bearings of where you are, specifically because as you look east, you see an entire area where there is no forest. Um, oh, we didn't have to, to be in the woods this the... whole time. What? Nothing. No, we did. I know where uh, we are. Yes. Um, you guys are basically on Enoch, um, which I think I have it up on the... Uh, yeah, I've got it zoomed in. Yeah. Um, at that little corner where the green fades into sort of that tan color, this entire uh, area is sort of like steps. So like ridged grassy area. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are right on the edge of it. Um, oh boy. And from here... You can probably see, you can't see any civilization in sight, mm -hmm. um, but you can see because you're kind of up on a hill. You can see in the far, far distance, almost at the horizon, you can see some sails going by. Oh, oh, a boat. Um, from here, you can probably gather that if you keep to these steps and away from the actual sand, which will make your going harder. Um, you can probably get to the other point by, oh gosh, how long does it take to walk that far? Probably three and a half days? Oh my god. Uh, is it's that the week. other point where the offering place is? This bitch. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Yikes. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna sing a song. We're gonna sing yeah. a traveling montage. Yes, we will. Um, I'm not gonna make you guys. From misery to happiness. <laughs> the only thing I'm gonna do before we start on our way today is I'm going to quickly send a message to Alar Rowanen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, buddy, dropped off your pseudo dragon." Annika says thank you. That's it. Gotcha. Um, no, he says more than that. Oh, I was gonna um, say. He's just like, thanks, no. bro. Red at 645. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, he, he sends oh. back, he says... He says... <laughs> it's too much like dad. Um, okay. Just, okay. Um, okay. He... I forget his accent. He was English, wasn't he? Don't remember. He was he was a little hoity toity, I think. Oh, yeah, I think he was hoity toity. Yeah, he was. He, he was like... a little flamboyant. <laughs> um, I don't remember his accent at all, but uh, 
he he basically says uh he says thank you i'll remember his accent another time but says thank you and uh he's looking forward to your continued work in enic and should you require anything by the time you get to wick upon pine let him know mm. he has some friends there. oh god i forgot we were also going to wick upon pine you're yeah, going, going to, to mourn's rest yeah but we have you to don't... stop at wick upon pine on the way you don't have to oh. um but there is potential for you to get uh better traveling companions people who are uh able to pretend they're arbiters so you can get in more easily gotcha that's what wick upon pine is for um mm, and then an so for my second sending i am going oh, to hold on don't i'm don't gonna go crazy turn, i'm gonna turn to selfie oh okay <laughs> And be Sorry, like, I just didn't want you to blow all of them. Be like, what do you? You got three days. What do you want That's to true. tell Marin? Oh. Ah. Uh, Cliff Notes version. Okay. Ye old Cliff Notes version. <sighs> Twenty-five words. No pressure. Stop. I can't speak whale. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Got to center myself. Center myself. Uh, take your shoes off. Put your feet on the ground. Okay. I take my shoes off. I'm And I'm kind of like standing there with my shoes in my yeah. hand. Getting grounded. Grounded. <laughs> okay. Grounded. One All with right. the earth. I am one with yes. the force. The force is one with me. Shut yes. up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm holding my shoes up. <laughs> Oh my um, god. <laughs> okay, tell her tell her, hey, this is Sylphie's friend. How you doing? Uh well it's gonna come from you, right? So it's gonna like you know, she's gonna hear like a dude voice and be like, Whoa, who the fuck? So you can't say, oh, like, oh, this is Sylphie. So you got to say, it's like, oh, I, I'm friends with Sylphie. I'm traveling with Sylphie. Oh, okay. Say, say, I'm traveling with Sylphie. We're coming to Morris Rest. Are you okay? Are you safe? Uh, she misses you. But she'll be there. We'll we'll all be there soon, and we'll come get you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got like these I big like floppy we've... boots that yeah. I'm just like gesturing with. Okay. So I'm gonna send a message to Marin because you have described her to me. Uh huh. Okay. So who's gonna count? Somebody count. Um. <clears throat> Taylor's got it. Hi, Marin. This is Sylphie's friend. How are you doing? Sylphie's coming to see you in Moore's Rest. We'll be there soon. I miss her. She misses you a lot. A lot is two words. <laughs> Yeah. I know. <laughs> it just took me a second because I'm both listening to you and counting. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have volunteered to count because <laughs> I had to listen. I would be that doy too. I'd do syllables instead and then I'd be like, wait, no. <laughs> How are you doing? No. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Have you ever messaged Marin before? No. 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 Hmm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I'm excited. Marin, yay. Um, I have such plans for Marin. Uh, such plans. I'm so such nervous. Oh, um, Marin. Consume. <laughs> Consume. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Thanks. It hurts. Yeah. Like, I it'll shred my voice. 
Oh, cool. I'm doing I'm doing <laughs> vocal fry. So I'm literally like it's like this stuff that I'm making move, not my actual vocal uh, cords. Um yeah. Um so you you hear a little bit of like oh like reaction oh. like Oh. Like, she's, she's Midwestern. <laughs> <laughs> it was not an. It was not an. Oh, it was. Oh. It's gonna sneak right past you. you grab the ramp. Grab uh, the ramp. Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> just, just like a, like a, like a, like a startled, like oh. What? Kit um, immediately returns to Sylphie. He's like, "You didn't tell me your sister was Midwestern." Oh God, I forgot that. <laughs> She's not Midwestern. I know. We're just kidding. Come on, come on. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Shut, shut the fuck up, and I will. Dance monkey. <laughs> Um, this is a okay. serious moment. It's my sister who is dead. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Listen. Fucking cool it. All right. <laughs> I mean, mostly Ben, but you know. Okay. <laughs> you know why. Um, God, I could have told this story 10 minutes ago. Um, so, uh, she would respond with, oh, how do you know Sylphie, um, first, and second of all, who the hell are you? That's all you get. <laughs> oh my god, she didn't answer anything well send you can do another one right i'm still uh, holding my boots i only have one left um well we can do it over like multiple days we got i guess fucking days that were all right i'm sending a message to i send the message to Madden. you count this time okay no oh boy no i meant my okay my name is kit sylphie and i are traveling together on a quest of the utmost importance. Oh God. Do you need to be rescued rescued? Um fuck. Bye. <laughs> well, Kit. I should have made up a different name. I'm why she already knows that Steve me. I'm okay. Uh, if She's you're okay. Actually, there with Sophie. Um, and you hear her like stop and actually have to think for a moment. She says. Maybe I can come to her? Uh, just tell me where you are when you can. Huh. She said she can come to us and to tell her. She can her, try. She can try and to tell us, tell her where we are when we can, <clears throat> which will be tomorrow. Or you can use a higher level spell slot. Nope. I do not tell Sylphie that. I know. Uh, 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 wait. Okay. Well, that makes things easier, but that also makes me suspicious, right? Is she, is your sister inherently magical? I mean, yeah, she, she's a board. She's a board. A what? I I strum my lute. I'm like she taught she taught me how to play lute. Oh, a bard. Yeah, a board. Oh, I thought you said ward, and then I wasn't sure if you said whore, and I was bard, like trying to figure it out. Rogue. I mean, okay, most bards are. Well, yeah, bard rogue. Well, board. Um, gotcha. So yes. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, apparently she's learned how to. T Teleport or something, or she knows somebody. Well, I mean, we're close to Moore's Rest, so maybe she, I don't know. I don't maybe either. she found another druidy person who can bamp her in through a tree. Like, oh, yay. 
know. Uh, I just wonder if it's a setup. I don't know, and that's up to you, but we can talk to her again tomorrow. Okay. I guess I have a night to think about it, but... And the whole day. Yeah. As we sing And it's song. the next day. Okay, Alicia, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah. can just jump through these days. Okay. Then uh... we'll, um, we'll jump to the next day, and uh, what am I telling Marin today? Should I tell her where we are? Tell her. How long is it going to take to get to Wick Upon Pine? I don't know. Uh, assuming you can get a ship from the point of Enic. Um, two, three, four, five. Probably on top of your uh, walk to the point, probably about six days if there's good weather. Tell her to meet us in Wick Upon Pine in six days. Okay. Seven days. Okay. Give us some leeway. Uh, tell her to come by herself. Okay. Uh, and not to tell anyone about it. Okay. Uh, I send a message to Marin. You don't actually have to count off the 25. Oh, okay. Can just be like, exchange we're, some information. We're going to be in Wikipon Pine in seven days. Do you want to meet us there? How are you planning to get it's there? It's going to be a little longer than that um, from where you are right now. But, uh, um, okay, fine. Then, then, 10 days. Like 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Um, depending on whether or not everything goes smoothly. Um, but uh, yeah, you you send her another message, and she basically sends back. I can't really come alone, but I'll come with as few people as possible. Um, I really hope you're not lying to me. I send her a second message. Be like, what kind of proof do you need? Sylphie is white as a sheet with <laughs> long white hair. She's super annoying and she tries to sleep with everything and she's upset that this guy doesn't want her. That, okay, hold on. You, yeah, messages or is sending is technically transmitted mentally, so he doesn't oh, have to Oh, is say it? Okay. <laughs> um, he doesn't have to unless he wants to. Jester yeah. does, but mm -hmm. you don't have to. I'll say it out loud. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, so when did Marin last know you? What age were you? 14? 14. Yeah, because yeah. it's been a decade. Yeah. So some of that's not going to track. Um, she answers back. She's like, I don't know if we have the same person. Tell, tell. What did you look like when you were fourteen? What the fuck? No, I think it's she's talking. I wasn't thing. fucking everything that moves when I was fourteen. Only, I mean, I would pretend I was going to like for jobs, but that's neither here nor there. Tell her. Shit. Does she have a I... birthmark? Does she have something? she has a she has a scar on her left wrist? Is there a birthmark that you have? No, um, I have my arbiter tattoo, but that's not really mm. unique enough to. What's something that only you would know? I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I so Alicia made up some bullshit thing. Oh, 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 oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wrote something. I wrote something. Hold those boots. It might, it might not have been specific enough. Let chaos rain. Let chaos rain. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, that mm, that's nothing. Um. All right, I'm pulling something on my ass. Um, 
Fun. You should disinfect that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Uh, <laughs> tell her. Tell her that Mr. Waddles is uh, hopefully still alive somewhere uh, in the bay. A penguin? Just, no, a duck. What? A penguin? I don't know. Um, it's a penguin. It's a penguin. Uh, no, it's I. Okay. Only Mr. Waddles. Yes. Hopefully, still alive somewhere. I sent a message. Send a message to Marin. Um. So apparently, <laughs> Mr. Waddles is hopefully still alive in the bay. She said. I don't know why you guys had a pet penguin, but that's... <laughs> it's a duck. Oh, apparently, it's a duck. You actually hear Marin laugh. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's it's <laughs> that's how she hard. laughs. It's canon. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's crazy. Um, Marin's voice is a fair bit deeper than Sylphie's and almost uh-huh. a little bit almost <laughs> almost a little on the raspy edge. Um, uh-huh. for like a woman. Like Stevie uh-huh. Nicks esque. Oh, I was uh, thinking okay. like Greta. She's like, ah <laughs> <laughs> No. God. Natural raspy, not uh, destroyed not by smoker smoke yeah. raspy. <laughs> um, and she's like, "All right, I believe you." <laughs> Finally. All right. Well, uh, Kit. I guess I'll see you there. Hopefully. We'll be. Okay. I can't. I can't respond. I've already used all three. Oh, I have to use divination every night too. <gasps> okay. So previous night, rewind. Yeah, sure. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good with that. Just uh, not even gonna give me any character things to respond to that or anything nope. like that. Okay. Uh, cool. She believes Thanks. you. She believes us. Good. She laughed. Um. She's would... still capable of laughter. Uh, so <laughs> that's, dark. that's good. I guess. Divination. Oh boy. First night. Uh, I contact Tull Dunost. Mm-hmm. And I say, Do you need us do you need Sylphie to go to Green Hall? an interesting question i i can't even get a straight answer out of her how do you think that i have better magic than you do better cell reception it's true um your answer is non-committal um it is essentially yeah. yeah It is essentially you get a view of the ocean and then slowly you see this other image almost like fade in over top of it, which is this huge, lush, green, grassy and forested landscape um, along the edge of a huge chain of mountains that extends beyond your vision. Mm -hmm. And sitting in the sort of... A uh, sort of round, rounded edge of foothills um, is this beautiful big city, and you can kind of see in the distance villages up against the foothills, and you recognize the tower in the middle of the city, and then you watch it all sink and be covered with water. Cool. But nothing says yes or no. Cool. Well, that was pretty. Um, second night, I want to contact (laughs) 
I want to contact Kenna McAmbaro. I guess she is a god. And I okay. want to ask her. How do we get the Heidelin cult off our trail? Um, that's not quite how divination. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Something about a future event. Yeah, a future event, future event. Or something that is happening now and how to change it. Is there anything that needs to be done in Harris to stop the Heidelin cult? This answer comes through a little more clearly mostly mm -hmm. because kenna is new to this shit mm -hmm. um where you actually hear a voice um go jeez oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh that's hilarious uh, welcome why? to being a god <laughs> why uh, just Leave it to people. Leave it to people who know what the fuck they're doing, and that's it. Oh, I don't like her. <laughs> you caught her at a bad time. Well. Um. Okay, third day. Do you? Oh, I will add to the end of that. Mm -hmm. Thanks for trying, though. Okay. Yeah. Fuck you, but thanks. <laughs> Uh, she didn't say fuck you. She said leave it to people who yeah, know what the fuck they're doing. Basically said fuck you. Um, she said you're immortal. Stop. No. Uh, so <laughs> I uh, third day. Do you need to tell Marin anything else, or should I like catch up with people? Yeah. What's Sylphie's reactions to this, Ben? Being that she's like one thing removed from actually talking to Marin herself. I mean kind of I guess I guess I'll ask Kit like how did she sound? Did she sound like did she sound like okay? Did she sound like worried about me? Did she sound like what how did she I mean respond. Kit make an insight check. Okay. Insight. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Whoa. Um, generally, what you gathered. Sorry, twenty-five. Can't add. Wow, makes such a big difference. Well, um, my... uh, in some situations, um, generally, what you gathered from her was distrust. I mean, I figured that was pretty obvious, but um, when you convinced her that it was Sylphie you were talking to, there was a little relief, but still, like, not distrust, but, like, distancing. Mm. Like, she wasn't ready to be like, oh my god, Sylphie. She, she was more yeah. like, I'll, I'll be there, kind of thing. Like, she's not sure. Yeah. Um, like, she's yeah, not the... sure... Like, she's like, not sure that she... There's only so much you can read into somebody's words, yeah. but um, that she's not sure about meeting you, not because she doesn't want to. Okay. I relay that. I'm gonna have to kill this guy, aren't I? I mean, maybe. He's... He's got her hook, his hooks in her, I'm sure. I mean, he probably brought her back from the dead. I know. That's a so big it's dead. like it's about well, 25,000 gold. I still don't know if it was Alistair or if it was him or who it was, like still expensive. I mean, yeah. I don't that's the thing. I don't think that Alistair would spend the money on it. So I wonder if it was him, but then why? We didn't know him. I mean, 
Brides are hard to come by. I mean, not really. Not for the king of the Arbiters. I mean, but he wasn't. Maybe he well, brought her he back was... to life to help him kill the old dude. I still well, think she's a sleeper cell. Yeah, you should you should send a message back to her and just say a bunch of Russian phrases and see if yeah. that does anything. Oh, um, Oshkosh bagosh. <laughs> um, Anastasia. Dragonov. Ras. Ra ra Rasputin, <laughs> the Russian queen. Oh yeah, that song just kicks her into high gear and she kills everyone. Yep. Yeah, she's like she's just a machine. It's just um, like the plot of Zoolander. And I, no, I don't know Silas Moore. Not directly. But I know what he looks like. Yes, you know exactly what he looks like. Would, if I described him to Kit, would he be able to send a message to him? I bet I yeah. could. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> uh, do you Do you describe him to me? Yeah, I'll describe him to you. I'm going to send a message to Silas. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to try to shift my voice a little bit. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, this is Stephen. <laughs> Look here, motherfucker. <laughs> I heard you're keeping a girl hostage named Marin. Let her go, you weirdo. <laughs> what are your intentions with my daughter? Yeah, what? <laughs> okay, we're going to Lil. And that's Too it. That's now. the end. That's the end. Did you say Ooh. that out loud? Yes. Oh, God. What Absolutely. are you doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> no. I, I take my shoes off again. And I'm holding them like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's grounding. She's grounding. Yeah. <laughs> I have to um, myself. It helped me yeah. last time. While Sophie is freaking out, you hear... Someone clear their throat, and you hear... <laughs> Interesting. Alistair, your voice seems to have changed. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Alistair, obviously. You sound nothing like him. You yeah, no. have his accent. Um, <laughs> I don't know who you are, but... Um, <laughs> I think it would be in your best interest if you left Marin alone. I think that would be in everyone's best interest. Yeah, hate that guy. Hate him. Uh, so I like, I turn to Sylphie and I'm like, that asshole just threatened to kill all of us. What? He threatened to kill all of us? Yeah, because he wants us to leave Marin alone, which means that we obviously probably need to kill him. It's clearly not what I said, but all right. Yeah, no, can I make an... clearly what I said. Well, no, I'm not going to make an insight check because... You'd believe been... it. Yeah. Sylphie would totally be Sylphie like... Sylphie wants to believe it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Also... This guy gives... Can I do an insight check? Did he seem like... Like, kind of thready? Because that sounded I mean, yeah. Me. That if... It'd be make like, oh, yeah. Check. Okay, okay. When someone's like, you better leave her alone, it's mm -hmm. usually not like... 21. Um, yeah, there was a not veiled threat there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what you gathered from him was confidence, experience with this very situation. Ew. Uh, in that he's had people probably threaten him before. Um, and also a sort of you wouldn't chalk it up to like it's not the confidence of somebody's like ooh i'm great it's the confidence of a person who has experience hmm. and does not fuck around gotcha um though i think what did you what would you roll 21 21 you could probably gather just a hint of him being like whoa motherfucker stay away 
kind of kind of tone like jealous. okay Possessive. no not jealousy more like he's like puffing up his chest like yeah. back, back, back off, off bitch yeah okay no not even not even that but like it's hard to explain it's not the like oh i'm stronger than you puffing it's mm-hmm. more like just back up nobody needs to get hurt here kind of thing like it's not it's not self-assured it's more like i do not want another fight kind of thing okay 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 yeah it's hard to explain no i i understand what Um, you're saying yeah do you have any other uh sending spells left today God, we really shouldn't be sending like a whole bunch of messages to people. How much do you want to fuck with Silas Moore the Third? Uh, okay, I you you've seen Alistair. Yeah. I would like you to contact Alistair. Oh, okay. And ask. Don't tell them. Don't tell him. I mean, you can tell him like, oh, this is Sylphie's friend, but like, just don't. I don't. I need to emotionally connect, disconnect myself from that, but this is purely informational. What? Who brought Marin back? Was it him or was it Silas? Mm -hmm. And what exactly is Silas's deal with Marin? Okay. As much as he can tell in 25 words. Yeah. I send a message to Alistair. Mm-hmm. This is Sylphie's friend. Who resurrected Marin? Why does Silas want her? Uh. Uh. Oh, ask like you know. What's uh... a good? If he knows any si- of Silas's weaknesses or anything like that. Uh, what are Silas's weaknesses? How are you doing? It takes a moment uh, for Alistair to answer, but he says, uh, actually, I'm not quite sure who is responsible. I assumed Wedna. What? Oh, the plot thickens. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that just made me giggle. <laughs> um, says I. I assumed it was Wetna, but I could be wrong. Silas seems rather enamored with the girl, with the girl. But um, I don't know if it goes any deeper than that. He's quite protective. How are you? <laughs> Weaknesses. You didn't even answer. Weaknesses. Huh. Okay. Well, Alistair's a jackass. I refer all of <laughs> that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. Well, that was pointless. Technically, he did answer your question. He's quite enamored with the he girl. He didn't tell me how he was. <laughs> that jerk. Right. I'm well. How are you? <laughs> um, I... I'm doing fantastically. How about yourself? Oh, fantastically, uh, are you? I'm oh, doing what? rapturously. Oh. Um, <laughs> that sounds like something Alistair would say. Dick. I'm going to use my God. last message to send to Silas again. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to be like, hold idea. on, hold on, hold on. I'm Get be the like, voice. I'm going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm be like, <laughs> You gotta stop laughing! I can't do it if you're giggling like a fucking hyena over there. I'm I'm off screen. Yeah, that doesn't help. (laughs) Um, So I'd be like, Oh, hello, Silas. What the (laughs) fuck? I was trying to be Alistair. I've just been contacted by... I'm Dr. Frankenfurter now. (laughs) I've just been contacted. I've just been contacted by someone who is just (laughs) such a bore. Can you make sure that Marin's fine? Uh, We already know she's fine. 
Tell your yes, Silas give your that. mother my love. <laughs> I assume you're trying to sound like yeah. Alistair. Alistair out. <laughs> Give your mother my love. His yeah. mother hates him. I know. That's what that <laughs> makes sense. Being a dick. Because okay, Alistair okay, being okay. a fucking dick. Make a make a performance check. <laughs> oh god, my a performance check, check was a one. That's a deception check. No performance. Okay. Uh, I mean, yes, deception, but performance. Let's be okay. real. I mean, fifteen. I. I feel like if it's like on paper, I'll go with the deception check. But if it includes an accent, I'll like nah, performance. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. What was it? Fourteen? Fifteen. 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 Uh... Oh, Silas. Oh, <laughs> Silas. Hello. Darling. Did you uh... finish my puppy coat? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, who is this? That's crazy. I'm gonna give him advantage because there's some shit you said that we're not. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> there's some a lot of shit you said that will well, not track with. Spiles. I. Uh, um. You hear a chuckle. God damn it! And you hear. Good show. You should be an actor. Quite a nice uh, set of voices you have. For your information, Marin is doing quite well. And um, next time you play a character, my mother hates him. That was the point. That's it. God damn it. Well, I'm gonna have to do better than that next time. I'm gonna have to keep working on that voice. Yeah, really? Silas. Silas. <laughs> Why hello? That's not at all what he sounds like. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Dr. Scott. Janet. <laughs> Rocky. Uh, just, just the head turn. Uh, yeah. That's oh. my favorite shirt. Is a comic of all of that happening? Yeah. yeah. And the very everybody's saying something, and the very last panel is just Rocky going. <laughs> God. Um. Well, that didn't work. Uh, really? Well, you shocking. Uh, whatever. I tried. Um. Kit. Kit. You get a sending back. <gasps> Hold yeah! on. Hold. There's something coming. Something good. What is that from? It's uh, from West Side it's, Story. No, it's from the Carol no? Burnett show. Oh. Yeah. 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 It's. It's uh, uh Mother Mary Mother Mother Marion Mother it's not Marion it's um <laughs> Mother Marcus mm -hmm. Mother Something Marcus come. Something um, good Wasn't it one of the guys that was doing Yeah, that? it's one of the guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um they're like, "Oh, it's Mother Marcus, the yeah. you know." God. The town Carol soup Burnett. pusher. <laughs> Carol Burnett was the best. God, it's so oh. funny. Um, but this time it is a woman's voice, somebody you haven't heard before. Um, and she says, <clears throat> Would this happen to be the person talking with my son? No, oh, no, he got his mom involved. Wait, how could, how could what a she get a hold of me? You think sending is all she can do? Oh, God. Oh my um, god, is this like those fucking people where their kids get in trouble at school and they like march in the principal's office? Yeah, like, what the heck? Oh, no, 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 no. She's got a fucking she's Karen a, haircut. She's a total Karen. God oh my damn god. it, Karen. He's like 25. Like, you can't just be like, excuse me, my grown son had a problem with you. Like, what? I'm sorry, continue. God. I heard this bitch in my ear. You guys just assumed a lot of things <laughs> that are not happening. No. Oh I, God, is it Alistair's <laughs> It's Alistair. He's like, oh, hello. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's probably like 95. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sending things to my boy? Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> she just became fucking Brooklyn. Like, 
Jewish mom. She's like, <laughs> why are you harassing my boy? Leave Harvey alone. Wrong. He's a good boy. That one. He's he's had a rough history, but he's turning his life around. Oh yeah, my god, he's... you guys are all fucking Fran Drescher over here. <laughs> I was doing Sheila. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Harvey, did you get the orange juice? Oh, God, God damn it, woman. No. Um, okay, so what does this bitch anyway, say? Sorry. Yes. <sighs> says, if you are the one in question, um, my name is Cynthia. I. Oh, that's her name. Mm -hmm. I would quite like to have a conversation with you. Um. If you're interested in all in perhaps some paid work, let me know. And that's it. Ah, uh, fucking Cynthia Moore just called me. What? Um, <laughs> and and Brittany she just called me. Like, and she just like offered me a job. Wait, are, is, is can she hear right now? I don't know. Uh. Say something back to her. Oh! Yes. Oh, it's a sending spell! <laughs> yes, it's a sending spell! <laughs> so, uh, Cindy! Hey, Cindy! Um, Cindy! Uh, Cynthia, not Cindy. Cindy, uh, what, what kind of job? That's it? Yep. Okay. Hey, Cindy! <laughs> Was the most panicked. Yep. <laughs> oh, <hey! laughs> I loved. I love panicked kit. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> um, God, it's like you realize the phone is still on. Right. <laughs> you're just like, and, oh! and you're just like, God, this guy that I'm talking to is such a jerk. <laughs> oh. <Hey! laughs> yeah. Um. Oh my God. She she chuckles much, way too similar to Silas, but. <laughs> <laughs> she's not Nigel Thornberry, um, um, okay. but she's, um, she, <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, she, she says, um, considering the company you keep, I think it'll be right up your alley. Um, perhaps we'll talk after you meet Marin. Bring along the fox. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for the message, Cindy. <laughs> we'll see you there. Peace, eat, pray, love. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I had an out of body experience for yeah. a moment. Um, I finished that with uh, eat, pray, love, uh, mm -hmm. live, laugh, love, Hobby Lobby forever. Yep. <laughs> I just realized something about myself. My eyebrows start twitching when I'm holding back last yeah. year. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> How's your sweater? Whose sweater? I just said, How's your sweater? Whose sweater? Sweater with him. <laughs> How's sweater. your coat? How's your coat? <laughs> you came nice coat. coat. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, okay, no more game grumps. Um, um, uh, she doesn't answer back after that. <clears throat> Okay, I think we're in the clear. Uh, so Cindy is coming with Marin. Who's Cindy? Cynthia. Oh. Cindy. That's not her name, but whatever. It is now. Okay. <laughs> what? I like that. She made, yeah, we're like, we like, so we started, at, we were in a book club together. We like read, you know, like Angela's Ashes or something. That's a depressing book for a book I've club, but... I've never read it. I have no idea what it's even about. I mean, um, it's about, like... Some dead bitch. Famine and, and oh, dying. Oh, we read Les Mis together. Whoops. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> my. <laughs> I thought you were actually going over backwards, and I was like, "Well." I was like, "No." <laughs> well, good night, everybody. <laughs> I'm just yeeting myself out of the <laughs> I was just like, no more of this shit. Huh? Woo! <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah. Someday, someday I should set up an exit like that where I just like pull the lever you on my go. chair and just disappear. <laughs> like pull I'm some just like, Good night, everybody. Sweeney Todd Whoop. shit and just slip out of the chair backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Cindy's <clears throat> bringing Marin. What? They don't like each other. They're from what I heard. They apparently started a knitting club together. I didn't know Naren, Marin can knit. She can now. You'd be surprised what you can learn in hell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Stark. Um, <laughs> so casual. <laughs> At first, I thought you meant Moore's rest, but... <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm so confused now. We've sent too many messages. I have one more divination spell left. Okay. All right. Listen. All right. I don't think we should message anybody anymore. I'm not. Because I think, I think the, well, don't we have tomorrow too? Because yeah, no, we're not doing it. I think tomorrow we arrive, but I'm not sure. Yes, but you do have those spells tomorrow. We, yeah, but uh, yeah, we, I think contacting Silas was a bad plan. Uh, we we have to kill him because he sucks uh, from what it sounds like. His mom is probably shitty too and maybe we can see what she wants but we'll probably also have to kill her i mean we definitely have to kill her um because that was part of the deal with alistair but now i'm like even wondering if the alistair thing should even be on the table anymore right do you so i'm just gonna throw this out there what alistair is having you go do all these things Uh uh-huh what if marin i almost called her marina what if Marin isn't his chip to play? That's what I'm wondering now. It's like, if Marin can just come to me, why am I doing all this for him? I think Alistair is trying to fuck you over. Yeah. I think well, he's trying to get you to kill Wedna for him. <clears throat> and he's not even going to pay you for it because Marin isn't his to give. Yeah, I think so. So here's the deal. I do want to kill Wedna, though, because, like, the list and all I that mean, shit. the more the merrier, but... Okay, person. But... <laughs> the list. Uh, but... Yeah. If I can get Marin in on it, too? And maybe, you know what? Let's just say Silas also wants in on it, because he hates Wedna, right? Mm-hmm. So, we can be like, hey, we're gonna kill her for you and he'll be like ah oh, sweet and then we kill her and then we're like well we did it psych also you motherfucker and then get him I, Sylphie what what if Marin's happy I mean maybe she thinks she's happy what if she that's not your call to make okay listen you can't be happy in Morris Rest it's impossible Maybe the Moore family is happy or whatever, but still, if Marin makes one wrong move, she's back on her ass the same place that she was before. She's not gonna, royalty. She's just... Waste uh, all that effort bringing her back just like that? I don't know. Like, like you said, <clears throat> Alistair assumes it's Wedna who brought her back, right? I don't know. Alistair talked to you. No, he didn't. Oh, he, he talked to me. To oh, yeah. You. No, he said, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, too many messages. He said that, oh, no. yeah, Wedna possi- possibly, he doesn't really know, but possibly brought her back. So, <gasps> I mean, what? What if Marin was a, <clears throat> was a peace offering? Wedna brought Marin back to give to Silas as he took over so that she could take her place with Cynthia. 
And isn't that fucked up? I mean, it's fucked up, but if you still end up happy, like, is that wrong? Yes, because you're not actually, like, free. You're still someone's gift. I, Silas could have given her back her freedom. I, I don't know. We don't know the situation, I guess. He obviously is possessive over him her. or over her. Like, he sent that message back like saying back off she's mine like she's it more sounded like he was being protective of her yeah that's not great either i guess we'll see i'm not making any judgments now i'm just i don't want to assume too much there there's no good arbiters okay there's just aren't you're okay i wasn't really an arbiter and I spent a long, it was complicated. We were more freelance. I just have the tattoo because you kind of have to do that. And as soon as I like had any inkling of my own thoughts, like I was out, you know, like he's 25 years old. He's got a fully fo formed frontal lobe. He could stop any time he wanted. But instead he's the king of the dicks and the dick he's king. keeping my sister there like a pet. A pet who has the freedom to wander, apparently. <laughs> a very long leash. <sighs> Although he may be coming with her, we don't know. Exactly. She can't go by herself. You said that. Well... Yeah, I guess I did. So, you'd think to meet her sister, who's a fugitive, technically. Kind of. She's also kind of a fresh corpse, so, like, she could be kind of weak. She's not that fresh. Uh, she's it's been, dead. like, a year. She's dead for a while. Yeah, but it's been, like, a year. She, from when I saw her, she looked, like, fairly okay, right? Uh, she looked very thin. <clears throat> okay. Okay, fine. So, but like, I mean, does she think I'm going to hurt her or something? Like, I don't, she wouldn't I don't have. She, she wouldn't have any reason. Sound worried about you. She sounded oh, cool. apprehensive that I was tricking her, but she didn't sound worried about you. Great, that makes me feel better too. No, like, not no. worried about you in the sense of like danger, but yeah, oh. yeah. It, it, worried about you as a person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we can. I mean, we'll see what happens when we get there. <clears throat> I just, I don't think you can be a happy arbiter. You can't be a happy arbiter. Or a good person. So, I don't know. Okay. It, if she's been, and the Marin that I knew was a good person. The whole reason she died was because she refused to keep wantonly killing people. And she always had more self-control than I did. She always, you know, she's not vain like me. She's not, you know, think of me and think of the opposite of me. That's her. So I can't imagine her being totally enraptured with the royal life just so... You know, and and also ignore all the harm she's causing. I think she's being kept there or manipulated or something. I'll find out tonight. Oh, with your divination thing? I'm going to try. What's your question? I I mean, are we, you... are we done with our RP? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And who um, are you going to ask? I... 
do I know of a god that's like a god? Who's the god of death again? Ursan. Ursan. I'm going to contact Ursan. And my Are question... Are you going to greet him like an old friend? No. Most people oh. do. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Although I could not stop for death, he kindly pulled that fucking carriage over and gave me a ride. Um, so... Ursan doesn't have a, have a carriage. Well, he's missed out. Um... So he walks the woods. I oh my god. I <laughs> I call He walks the woods along with all of the other creatures. He does not consider himself above them. I was going to say, what do we say to the god of death? Send nudes. He sends you a bowl of noodles. <laughs> oh my god. I call Death Noodles. I divinely <laughs> call Ursan. What is your quish? And I'm like Hey. Hey. Uh, did, is, now, I, question for the DM. Yes. Uh, this might be too much. Um, I'm just wondering if I, like, if I say Marin, like, is he going to know who I mean? Or do I have to be like, it's Marin Altera or Marin Moore or whatever the fuck her name is now. He's God. He can read your mind. Cool. All right. <laughs> hey. Um, is Marin under is is Marin operating under her own free will? It's not quite how divination works. It's not. Mm -mm. You're asking more of a. What if I ask? Is communion. Marin okay? What if I or commune? Ask. Yeah. Is our meeting with Marin? No, it's more than seven days away. Magic's hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Have the Arbiters sent anyone after us? After our messages today? Have or will? Um... Yeah, have or will. Hmm. In the next seven days. Seven. Seven days. Seven days. So with Ursan, um, mm -hmm. you've kind of noticed that you're reaching out to each of these different gods is a little mm -hmm. bit different each time. Yeah. Um, with Atlaren, it feels like speaking to the earth beneath your feet, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, with Kenna, she doesn't have a thing yet, so it's kind of like, what the fuck? Fuck off. Um, yeah. kind of, kind of feel. Not calling her <clears throat> anymore. With Ursan. You hear your question echo back, but in a different voice, a deep, like the closest I can describe it for you is the growl of like a grizzly bear sort of I voice. Is <laughs> that what you think I grizzly know. bear sounds like? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just wish <laughs> that there was like a rule set in Dungeons and Dragons for me to be like, can a god just smite you for making fun I of mean, them? I mean, technically they could. They, they could. could. If he wanted to be really petty. Yeah. yeah. He is the well, god of death. He could just be like, well, you're about to be grass food. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Die. Circle um, of life. Circle of death. No. No. <laughs> Yeah. That was actually not horrible, but no. Um, I'm good either. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, but you hear the question echo back to you in this deeper voice. And there's a moment as you're sort of just doing your own thing, waiting for this answer, where your vision tunnels... And it's like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Um, just... Don't go toward gone. the light. Um, and there's a moment where you are truly blind. Like, for a long moment. And it's mm -hmm. just like, oh, fuck, what's happening? Oh, um, no. But oh, then no. your eyes blink. And you see 
uh, sort of in like flashes, almost like a time lapse of a tall, sort of slim, dark haired woman with silver streaks in her hair, um, always backed up by a woman with long red hair, who's quite a bit shorter, um, doling out what seems to be orders to people in uniforms and armor and people with swords. Um, as this happens and the time sort of speeds by, you realize you're watching the time since you contacted Cynthia to now. Um, and oh. then it begins to go past now and it goes into the next week as you watch Cynthia, what you assume is Wedna from what you've heard of her. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them prepare for a journey. And then your vision shifts over to a completely different place where you see Silas Moore and Marin doing the same. Uh, apparently separately. They do not seem to be aware that the other is also going. Or, excuse me, Silas and Marin do not seem to be aware that Cynthia and Wedna are going. Mm -hmm. And so you see a ship leave a harbor and then a sunrise and a sunset go by and then another ship leaves the harbor. They're leaving separately, but they're both headed for Wick Pond Pine. Um, they don't send anybody ahead of them, mm -hmm. but you are aware that they will have people at least with them for the journey. Who went first? Was it Cindy and Wedna? Uh, no, it was uh, Silas and Marin. Okay. They went with significantly fewer people. Gotcha. Like, basically just a crew and, like, two guards. Um, and they sort of, Silas, at least, sort of disguised himself a bit. Hmm. Okay. What's I, your answer? I go back to Sylvie. So I can't ask if Marin's under her own free will. There's not, I don't, I don't have the correct thing to do that. However, um, I do know that Marin and Silas are leaving with a skeleton crew and a couple of guards by themselves. And Silas is disguised. However, Cindy and Wedna... Cindy. Cindy and Wedna are right behind them and they are decked out. Mm. And I have a feeling that it's not for Silas and Marin. Yeah. Because they're about a day behind and it seems like they don't know that each other is going. Also, that begs the question as to how Cindy has any idea that Silas got a message from me, unless he told her. Maybe she's got him tapped. Maybe he's not under... <gasps> oh my god. What? Marnie and Silas <laughs> are... Marin, Marin, I'm sorry, I, I can't love remember her names fucking name. Over time. It all night. Sorry, I keep trying to call her Marina and it's just not working. Um, the names just degrade. Cynthia Cynthia went to Cindy. Cindy. <laughs> fucking so, Marin went to Marina and then Marnie. Silas and Marin are it's so hard to say. Silas and Mary. Silas and Mary. CeeLo are, Green yeah. and Mary Magdalene. <laughs> and Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah. Oh my um, god. Anyway, so yeah. Silas and Marin are is there a chance that Cynthia and Wedna have them both under their control? Because it's very possible. I really don't think oh, well, first of all, I think that Cindy is a lot more uh powerful than we give her credit for. Probably. And I also think Wedna probably is as well. Um, but I would not be surprised if Cindy is the one in charge of the Arbiters and not Silas. He's probably just a placeholder. Do women ever take over the Arbiters or is that like not allowed? Uh, they've tried. 
Have there is been... it? So is it like a so just because of a sexism from, thing, or is it here and there? Um, from what Sylphie knows, because you actually know a little bit of your Moor's Rest history, it wasn't always called Moor's Rest. Um, it was named after the Moor family when they took over. Um, previously, before the Arbiters really existed, uh, before the long before the Calamity, um, there was, of course, the Caskers. Um, and then there was a subgroup of them called the Tappers. They were sort of like their assassins and the people who did the dirty work essentially um but a sect of the tappers got a little too vicious like bad for business vicious like some people when you're a casker when you're in the mafia some people need to die like it just happens <laughs> But when you're in this particular group of tappers, if somebody fucks with you or says no to you, they die. And the caskers weren't on board with that. So they basically shunned them. This particular group fled to the eastern side of Harris when it was still a full continent. And they took over a little bitty, like, port village. Um, and sort of set up shop there, mostly as slavers. They were capturing people from the local countryside and like selling them wherever they could and then they started to set up in Lachmanos. After the calamity um, the group sort of had this this place that was firm when the rest of the continent fell apart and they became this notorious group of pirates grew and grew and grew until it was practically its own city-state um, previously, I don't remember what it was called previously, but something rest. Um, I don't, cannot remember for the life of me what the previous king's name was. Um, but he, uh, this previous pirate king essentially founded the Arbiters before they really had a name. Um, and their thing was basically fuck with the caskers, sell people. Um, along came the Moore family um silas moore the first who killed this king um along with the help of some of his siblings and that led to a bloody feud where he ended up killing all of his siblings because they wanted power too and he took over and it became known as moore's rest and the group officially became known as the arbiters a name they chose because silas the first himself sort of had this this nickname this uh, the nickname of like the arbiter like when he was a captain and a sailor um basically he presided judgment over everybody and so arbiter um but uh, in his time he essentially built out moore's rest to be this huge like tortuga like city but darker um and in his time, many women, especially his daughters, tried to take over, uh, especially his eldest daughter. Uh, she ended up uh, hung, uh, hanged from basically the, the top of his palace, palace, roughly, uh, because she fucked up <clears throat> and she failed. And uh, you, you may remember hearing the story which was basically that Silas the first was so disappointed at her shitty attempt to kill him that he basically said, you shouldn't even be alive if you can't kill an old man. And he had her hanged. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, most of his children ended up uh, dying, trying to kill him. Uh, Silas the second uh, died recently. Yeah, um, I remember that. And then his son, Silas III, uh, who is pretty much the only rightful heir left who's not dead, um, you know that he never killed any of his family members. He's the only one who hasn't. And his he was the only one his grandfather liked. Um, and there's some argument as to why that is. One side is like, 
Silas the First thought his grandson was like smart enough to let everyone else kill each other and then step in. And then the other side is when Silas the First got older, he started to appreciate his grandson's diplomacy and the fact that he could get shit done without ordering everybody's heads to roll. Um, but uh, anyway, when Silas the First died, um, Silas the Third, you know, rightfully stepped into line. Whereas remaining cousins and shit tried to fight with him. And from what you know about him, um, even though this most of this has happened in the time you've been away, uh, or all of this stuff with Silas the Third has happened yeah. while you've been away. Because um, he was 15 when you were 14. Yeah. Um, in the past decade of him taking over, instead of having all of his cousins killed... He's made them his officers. And there's some semblance of peace finally in the Moore family, which in turn united Moore's Rest. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of a well oiled machine now. Um, but with that, some of their business has been getting a little more honest in the past couple years, um, where Silas is more interested in trade, um, like legal trade because it's easier um than all of the you know stealing people and selling them that still happens but most of his focus is on the legal trade and he's actually trying to create alliances with nearby cities um he doesn't fuck with the old ways very much because that's asking for a knife in the back but he just kind of does his own thing So maybe she is trying to do them in, or she's wanting, maybe she's in charge of the people selling and all that stuff, but he would rather do, I um, don't know. You do know Cynthia Moore was Silas II's wife, um, obviously, Silas III's mom, mm -hmm. Um she has never had, as far as you know, um, she's never been like a figurehead. She's never stood out in front and been like, do what I say. Um, but from what little you know about her, she had a good enough relationship with Silas the First that she sort of got a little bit of favoritism, which eventually led to her putting Silas the Third in his sights. Like, look at my boy, isn't he good? Um, mm -hmm. Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you can you can imagine she player. probably... She's, she's manipulative She's probably too. a chess player. Yeah, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Um, never never the queen. Never the king. Nope. But she's the, the bishop. Sides. She's the <laughs> bishop. Uh, Sylphie just kind of like is putting her hands in her her head in her hands as you're like, like going over all this information you're like fuck this is so fucked i don't know um, what to do with any of this no. um well we saw before we night um oh yeah. i would like to take just a moment yeah. on the beach and fill up my five gallon jugs with acid <laughs> and then um also create just fill up like out of those jugs like seven more vials of acid so i've got an even 10 and i'm gonna give five to sylphie okay. okay so um they're 2d6 acid damage okay i will say for those vials just be aware they don't break very easily on soft things yeah okay so if I were to throw can, them at a person. If you were to throw them at a person, like aim for something bony. Yeah. Or you okay. can just unstopper it and like, you know. Yeah, pour it on them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> power, got, the power of acid compels you. Ah! I've got 93 um, more vials left. And now I've got five <laughs> one gallon glass jugs of acid. Yeah. If you didn't have that bag of holding, which by the way is just about full, yeah. um, you'd be you'd be clank 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 and all over the place, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be he, I'd be clank 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 and he'd know all about me by now. Um sorry, Danny, game grumps. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that that I think that pretty much sums up third day, yeah. 
Um, yes, uh, I do want to add for that night, as you guys are like going over this information, like Clay is part of it because he wants to help, and Mia obviously wants to help. Oh, I need um, to mention to Mia that Cindy yeah. said something about bring the fox. That's not terrifying. Uh, I also give that to Sylphie. Be like, uh, you might have given us some information that you never should have. Yeah. yeah. What? I mean, did you... Why do they want you? Well, she broke out. Well, Marin broke her out. Yeah. Oh, you mean Mia? Yeah, Mia. Yeah. Oh, well... Wasn't sure if you're talking to me or fucking Sylphie. Oh, she said bring um, the fox. Like, yeah. 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 Um, why, well, why I, I you? thought you then changed to Sylphie. Oh, um, sorry. No, I was like, I'm looking at you on my screen and it's like just assuming you know who I'm looking at. No. Yeah, I know. Looks like you're looking off into the distance. Yeah, sorry. Um, um, but yeah, uh, Mia is like, uh, I didn't think she even knew i existed well she does now we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. yeah i didn't tell her she just brought you up so you must mean something i mean if she was in the books or whatever like maybe she knows her stock that's like, true yeah that's dark um i yeah, mean but probably true she's a bitch <laughs> but like people escape every so often like why would she i don't know oh god is that why she knew did she scry on me she, she was did probably scrying on contact someone. me somehow without me ever knowing who she was or meeting her or her meeting yeah. me so yeah she's probably oh, seen us no. i don't know if it's you it might have been somebody else like i'm so sorry it's it, probably you don't don't worry about it, it. No, it's not a big deal. We're going to kill her, but like it was probably you. <sighs> it's fine. It's not a big deal. I've got a lightning it's, javelin. It's kind of a big deal. It's fine. It's fine. It could have been any one of us. It could definitely could have been Sylphie, actually. It, yeah. I'm probably higher up on that list than you, so... It's fine. And she like shivers. She's like, Ugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to bed. And she goes and curls okay. up for the night. Um, Sleep with the yeah. too. Uh, as well as everything calms down for the night, and you guys are just kind of sitting around the fire. Some of you starting to uh, drift off to sleep. Um, Bull actually checks in with Sylphie again, and comes and sits next to you as you're starting to think about going to bed and he says I know I ask this a lot but um, are you okay? I'm gonna be okay. There's gonna be a lot of dead people. Yeah, I um, I'll get it. And hopefully I'm not one of them. Well, I mean, you're not going to be if I'm still one of the ones who are alive, so. There you go. But what are you going to do if your sister actually loves this guy? Uh... I mean, just from my outside perspective, it seems like he cares about her. Just because you care about someone doesn't mean make you a good person. Yeah. I... I'll reserve my judgment for when I actually meet him, but I'm also... Killing him is very much on the table at this point. I'll follow your lead. I'm It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You say that a lot. Yeah, well, it keeps progressively getting, like, 
shittier. So like I I have to say that otherwise I'm just not going to move. Have you seen how much I've been taking my shoes off lately? Like <laughs> that's something. Yeah, I I, I have mean, to do something. I don't really wear shoes much, so yeah. Makes sense to me. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You're starting to get the crazy eyes. No, I'm not. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, I'm not. And Bull reaches over. He actually like pulls you into his lap and hugs you. He's so cozy. Just, just big, big cuddle bug. Fluff. <laughs> Furry cuddle bug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I also have one more thing I want to check. Oh, jeez, we're going so long. I know. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. Before we go to bed, I'm hungry. I, I look up into the night sky and go. How, oh. how full is the moon? I I I I. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it'll be. Or how close to full is the moon? Um, probably about a half moon. Okay. Little under. Little under a half moon. Wait, hold on. Let me check my calendar. Because I don't know how long we've been, but I know we're probably... So we started on Kerbegar the 15th. One, two, three. So... When you guys wake up in the morning, it'll be the 19th. Uh, wait, yeah, no, yeah, yes. Um, sorry. Uh, 13th is the new moon. So where you're at right now, you're getting close to the half moon. Okay. Do I know about how many days until the next full moon? Uh, as of tomorrow, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven ish. Seven days. Seven. Yeah. First of Kadron. Oh, that's right. It lands on the first every yes. time. Yes. The calendar is arranged by the moon phases. That's right. That every makes 25 sense. days. Yes, yeah. it does, doesn't it? It really <laughs> does. Fucking Julian fucking calendar. Mm -hmm. Every um, month is the same amount of time. There are 16 months. They're all about the seasons, and they're all based on the fucking moon phases. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in the back of my head as I'm still like looking at the scars from like where I was bitten. Where you were bitten? By the werewolf? By Vinrith mm -hmm. Corsair. Oh, that's right. You've been I do have that in my it. journal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could have used my seven. Oh, days. you could have used, used my divination. You could have. <laughs> I mean, you still could, like. I'm not gonna have later. it for the next day. Let me check my journal. Hmm. 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 Well, you still could later, like when your spells replenish in you. Funny joke. What? Hmm. I said after your spells replenish and and stuff like that. Oh, you could. I'm taking a different. I've already chosen a different spell for the next day. Ah, oh. fuck! You were bitten before the stream started. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I was. Yes. Yeah, you were. Who bit you? Vin Vin Corsair. Corsair. Right. Right. Mm. I have a W, like you told me to put at the top of my character sheet. So. It, actually, I spelled it out. It says a werewolf. I don't know if you can see it. Shifter. A werewolf. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Wait, werewolf. put an A in yeah. front of it. Oh, a werewolf. werewolf. <laughs> Werewolf, their wolf. A werewolf. Who wolf? A werewolf. You you should just turn into like when the full moon comes that like you'd be like, What happened? Why am I not a werewolf? And then Ben with Gorsh is like, no oh no, it's 
an a werewolf, so you get plus like five to perception. Or if something. only it were that. Oh my god! <laughs> if I got a plus five to perception, my passive perception would be fucking twenty two, twenty three. Yeah. Well, Nothing that's what happens when I'd see <laughs> you're in a werewolf. But it's only um, it's only when the moon is full. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I yeah. think you were bitten on. I. You were bitten during the summer solstice, so like right yeah. after the full moon. Yeah. Yeah, it was like directly after a full moon. Yeah, I think it was. The, I think it was the. I think it was Rothadane. Yeah, second. I think it was like literally the day or the day after the full moon. Yeah, so I have a full month of just like being anxiety. Anxious. Yeah. Well, I'm starting to actually get anxious about it now. Yeah. So because yeah. now it's like, oh god, I don't feel any different. Is that good? Is that bad? Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Yes, uh, but yeah, I think that's a good that's a good spot to leave it off. Even though I kind of want to keep playing, to get to too. fucking I want to get to Silas and fucking Marin and the me werewolf. Too, but, um, oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know how it's gonna go. Works out. Um. <laughs> that's my anxiety noise. <laughs> <laughs> Just a train whistle. Um. You like that weird little turtle. Oh God! No. Yeah, that. <laughs> no, no sex noises, thank you. Um, very ace. He's happy. Very ace. Well, yeah, not for you, but for the turtle, he's happy. Sure. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, back to the matter at hand. Yes. Thank you, everybody, oh, for yeah. joining us. Thanks. We were recording an Thanks. episode. Um, for joining us for. Uh, Another episode of the Atlaran Adventuring Company. Episode 8. Episode 8. Game number 24. Yes. Um, we will hopefully not have too many more interruptions in the game, yeah. at least until holidays start. True. And uh, we'll let you know well ahead of time. <sighs> Halloween is on a Saturday. We Spooky, could dress scary up. Stuff. We, can. we could! We could dress we can. up for the fucking We can! Game. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, I might have a party that I'm going to. I might as well. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't we'll have see. friends. Actually, I do. I can't make that joke anymore. It's. Okay. I mean, I say party, but it's like my one, like one out of like two friends that I see during these quarantine times. But yeah, I'm just chopped just... liver over here. No, 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 not no. saying you aren't an additional friend, no, but know, one I'm of two that she sees I know, I know, in I know. real life. I know. Yeah. I've seen you a IRL. couple of times, but just so people don't know, don't think that I'm like going in like to a fucking rager or whatever. Yeah. I mean, but... you go to a rager, That's Alicia, not my, that's a not raging case. nap. Yeah, nobody has real. assumed that of you. Oh, oh. Okay, well, good. <laughs> God, I'm a bitch. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So speaking of Alicia, tell Hi. us about oh, yourself darling. in a positive connotation, positive yes. tone. You've What's had two up? weeks to practice. My name's Alicia. I'm a Virgo. My name's uh, Alicia. I am a Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> I write uh, stuff. That yeah. doesn't work. Uh. Yeah, I do write stuff. Uh, I you can find me on Twitter at am Kelly writes, uh, and at my website at am Kelly www dot am Kelly writes dot com. I have a blog there. I'm uh, switching it to monthly. Uh, oh my god, I can't do this wall. <laughs> you guys are doing focus that. practice. Focus, I'm focus, 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 focus. I'm switching to monthly entries rather than weekly entries. Uh, I just have random stuff there. Um, I'm currently working on a novel uh, based on D and D uh, slash. Um, yeah, that's it. You uh, okay? Oh, um, yes. Uh, ben, it's me. Um, hi. Uh, Come with me. You'll be in a world of your life. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I. We're getting loopy now. <laughs> yeah. I write under Blake R. Wolf, which is uh, at 
blakearwolf.com, B-L-A-K-E-R-W-O-L-F-E.com. Uh, it, I have a LGBT novel coming out on October 2nd, so a little under three weeks now. Ah, and I exciting. am, yeah, I'm almost halfway through writing my first fantasy novel, so that should be out very, very early next year. It may be sooner if I can finish it faster. Who knows? Indeed. That's what I'm doing. I will know. Um, yeah, you will know because I'm going to like know. call you or I'm just going to text you. I'm going to be like, there's Stress. a book in your inbox. You need to do it right. Edit it now. Right meow. Money. Right now. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, hello. I'm Taylor. Hi. Hello. I'm the... My name is Taylor Wallace. And I am... My name is Taylor. <laughs> I write, I write some books. Um, be careful, cuz. <laughs> uh, I'll kill you in my game. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh that's God. not friendly. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Taylor. I'm the goofball. Um, I am way too excited to be talking to people again. I am mostly a DM at the moment. Uh, I'm also a uh, working on it writer, and I am an editor uh, currently for Ben, Blake, whatever you want to call him. It ben doesn't matter at this point. Um, and hopefully for some of our other friends in the future, too. Um, and I run Sonder Editing. Run is a strong word. <laughs> Yeah, I, you I are Sonder editing. I am Sonder. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, SonderEditing.com. Um, we also have all of our links below, courtesy of Ben, and uh, including at Lauren Adventuring Company, which should have come first. Uh, at Lauren ADV Co. Uh, is down below. We also have links uh, through tweets, through the Twitter bio, to our, to Twitter. our uh, Twitter. VODs Twitter. that get posted. <laughs> 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 they get posted on Wednesdays along with podcasts on Stitcher, Spotify, a bunch of places. Wherever yes. podcasts yes. can be found. Indeed. If you prefer the audio format instead of the video, go to the video when it's posted and all of the links will be under that. Mm -hmm. And there are links below. So. Yep. Yay. Um, I think that there is just about it. That there is just right about it. Yeah. <laughs> I say, I say. I do I declare. Say, oh my god. <laughs> but yes. Um, we will see you next week. Hopefully, my internet will be fixed by then. It did. It did um, good. The actually, it did have, Yeah, yeah. It was fine after a while. I'm yeah. starting to think that the problem is a service interruption between like 4:30 and like 7. Yeah, that probably um, is about right. Still gonna kill him. <laughs> but all right. Don't. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, have a good night, everybody. We're done. Bye. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Boy. Bye. Where's the button? There it is. Bye. <laughs>